Oh, shit. Uh oh, what's Yo, so I'm back in here, but I'm still not getting any sound. I have my headphones in, though, at least. But, I mean, I guess I'm going to catfish. Yeah, we're going to roll like that. We're at, we're at, we're live. Yo, what's going on, usual suspects? Thanks for hanging tight that extra minute or two. You know, we always on that color people time. But welcome to another great episode of the Monday Mid. So it's your co-host, Molly Maul, a.k.a. I didn't cop another one. Except for I don't have any cops this week, but neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm gonna kick it off to the rest of the fam, starting off with that that grump, Red Cup McGruff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your boy's back with the Red Cup Chronicles. Boo. Uh -oh. The Pablos and Jays, the OG Jay Walker. And I'm gonna kick it over to the dude that takes up most of the screen when he comes on. <laughs> Appreciate that, Fred Sanford. What's going on, everybody? It's your uh -oh. boy Mo, <laughs> aka Unbox. AKA, I'm going to kill some of these other AKAs. Uh, glad to be back. Glad to see Marcus back. And we're going to kick it over to uh, Papa Buck. What's going on, y'all? Buckeye City Soul here. Kev, AKA Michael Bivens. I'm moving up from Tito, y'all. Um, yeah. uh, thank y'all. This mofo ain't no Tito. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all for. What do you say? <laughs> Put the cops off the bench. Yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta do a couple of things, but thank y'all for uh showing up and uh spending some time with us. If you hang out for the whole two hours, then a special thank you. Uh but if you can't, we understand. Uh today we have our guest, uh Brooke, Brookie Do in the building. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you guys doing? We're doing fantastic. Hopefully, uh hopefully the drops are minor. Let me go ahead and preface. We're going to have drops. But we have decided to say fuck it, and we're rolling with it. So that's three. That's two minutes in. Hey man, that's how we gotta we gotta have that quota, man. We got different. <laughs> hey, our sponsor has a shirt that says "Eat shit." Shout out to eight and nine. So we can say whatever we like, okay? So <laughs> I want to. I just want to dive on into. Uh... We won't be on Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I might change for Disney. You know, I might I might have a have a new repertoire of words to uh, go ahead and eat, toss out there. So, Manoa. yeah, something like that. Consume it. Uh, so, Brooke, what got you into sneakers? Man, that's a crazy question. A lot of people always ask me that, but I'd have to say, like, growing up, I was always kind of like a tomboy. So I always played basketball and everything like that. I always wanted to really, like, be like my brother. And he was really into sneakers, too. He was a lot older than me, but I don't know. It was just something about it. I just loved the style of it. Like, I just loved, like, big white Air Forces when I was younger and, like, the Allen Iverson, the Reeboks, and all that. So I just got really into it, and I played basketball, so... I just, I constantly wore, like, once my mom let me dress me, I just wore whatever basketball shoes I wanted to. So, Brooke, I'm picking up the accent. You know, tell everybody where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says I have an accent, and it's actually super funny because, like, I really don't. I grew up in uh, Norristown, and now I live in, um like, Royersport area. But a lot of people think I'm, like, from the south, but I guess it's that, that Norristown hood rat in me. Oh, that's, a, that's, you got, you're, that's Philly, right? Yeah, well, yeah, like right on the outside skirts. So what's I'm the, probably like 25 minutes away from Philly, a half hour. Uh, we still count that. We still count that. So what's the like? What's the sneaker head landscape there? Like, you know, what's the, you know, do you guys have like groups there, or is it kind of like you just, do you ever like you know hook up with folks and kind of you know talk shoot the shit about shoes or anything? Oh yeah, for sure. So like. I work at um I work at a at the Apple store and um everyone there well mostly everyone is like really hardcore like because we can wear like footwear like whatever we want and that's like when really temptations got in effect when I started working there almost four years ago because you got so many different spots in the mall you got Champs you have Foot Locker you have Finish Line Sneaker Villa you have like a castle just to play with um. So I have a couple friends that are really into like the sneaker, the sneaker game like I am. But around this area, I would say there's a lot more, there's a lot of like resellers, especially like I see in like, you know, the mall atmosphere and everything. But there's, there's a lot of like those hype kids 
Um, but there, there are like true people that you'll see people just rocking like some old school Nikes or like Harachis or just like some, just like OG colorways of like J's and different things like that. Now, Brooke, like we talk on a regular and you, you're yeah, kind of, you're kind of a reseller yourself, lightweight, you know, like <laughs> Brooke, Brooke's like my, my buddy. I have a, a friend, his name's Chris. He has a new cell phone every time I talk to this dude. And he'll be like, oh, oh man, this God. is the sweetest, you know, I got this and that. And then he's like, man, I had to take that back. But I got this <laughs> right now. And then, you know, like that, Brooke, like every time you're like, oh, should I get these? Like, yeah, you should get them. It's like, oh, I got rid of those. I got these, though. <laughs> <laughs> you got to, though. Like, you have to. So, like, like Eugene, my sneaker brother, always makes fun of me for that, too. But, like, sometimes you get to a point where, like, you want these shoes, but you got to hustle, like, things that you don't wear in order to get the things that you want, you know? I feel that. And so, then, and then it sometimes probably, you just got to hustle up. <laughs> and it probably make, uh, makes room for things. Like, do, you, do you ever get in trouble, you know, with your girlfriend um, for, <laughs> for having, like, shoes all over the place or running out of space and things? Um, she kind of, like, understands how I am with sneakers now, so she never, like, like, she doesn't, like, yell at me or I don't, like, get in trouble or anything like that. Like, she kind of knows, but, like, she'll, there's times where she'll just be, like, um, like, really? Like, when we went to, um, we went to New York, uh, when I was at a store called Round 2, they had, like, they had just so many, like, hype sneakers, and they had a pair of, like, off-white Air Max 90s. And I was in there, and I'm not going to lie, like, we were in New York all day. We were kind of drunk. And I was just like, you know how, like, you get, you're like, I'll just cop this, whatever. Yep. And um, she just, like, hated that store because she just, like, hates some of, like, the hype beast and everything like that. Uh... So she's like, she's like, she's like, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm going to go across the street. She goes over and has, like, a cup of soup and, like, sake or some shit. And I'm, like, <laughs> buying, I'm, like, drunk buying all these shoes. Oh, but, man. um. Yeah, she yeah. not nah, she, she understands it and she knows like that I work really hard and that like every shoe that I get like has a purpose or it's something that like I really want. So she she really supports it and I've also kind of gotten her sneaker game up there a little bit. So we're we're getting her there. That's awesome. But, that's, that's awesome. And just yeah. so people uh just so people know in the chat, uh Brooke is part of uh, one of our sister shows, uh, Sneaker Files, and she also has her own uh web uh website. Uh, where she does reviews and things like that and i was taking a look at your uh at your website and i saw that you had yeah. the uh the uh was that the lunar reacts yes 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 i do and i really love them i'm actually thinking about getting another colorway of those i bought one pair and i'm real weird um my girlfriend actually makes fun of me for that i don't like to rock the shoes that i also work out in i'm really okay. weird about that so like if i run in a sneaker it's just for running because I run a lot. So I, I like, like my runners, they're beat. So like certain shoes that I purchase, like my shoe collection is crazy. And like my gym shoes, I have probably like three of them that I keep on a rotation for like workouts. Mm -hmm. But the Lunar Reacts, I'm telling you, they are probably, they're amazing. They're really great shoes. Even for casual, like even if you're not uh, running in them, two people that I work with recently picked up a pair of them and they love them. Now I know you you had switched. Uh, you were you were Adidas for a little bit, and you came back to Nike. Um, so now let me ask you this question: the React or the Ultra Boost? Which one would you recommend? Yeah, so like a lot of people posted like a ton of videos about this topic, and I watched them just because I love to hear like other people's state of mind on it. Mm -hmm. For my personal opinion, um, if we're looking at a performance aspect of it, I'm definitely going to say Nike for sure. The problem with Ultra Boosts are I've put quite a few miles in the 2.0s. I would never run in the 3.0s just because that prime knit, it, to me, it's just not for that type of performance running. Mm -hmm. But for the 2.0s compared to the Lunar Reacts, there's just something about Ultra Boosts that like, they're nice, like, to have one or two pairs, but there's something about them that over time, it's like when you grab low and you have to flip it over. Mm -hmm. Like, they just don't, like, do it all. Like, like when I'm on my feet for nine hours a day in an ultra boost, there comes to be a certain point where my foot is just tired of the way that it feels. Oh, so with Nike, 
like the Nike reacts, they give you that like bouncy kind of like feeling kind of like how boost does, but there's more stability. So that like bottom part of like the heel and just the sole of the bottom is a lot more firm. So your feet feel cushioned on the top, but they also feel like they're stable and they have support. Whereas with boost, I just feel like it feels just like a little bit too like, like a water bed or something. I gotcha. I gotcha. It gives you too much. It's too much give. Um, but yeah, man, I, I think I'm, I think I might try a pair of those just to see how it feels myself. Cause I, I have a couple pair of ultra boosts, but, um, I mean, they really don't get too much rotation. Uh, because <laughs> I don't like the way they, I don't really like the way they look. They look like. I, I agree with mittens. you. I've, <laughs> I've, I have skinny legs. So when I wear ultra boosts, I feel like, like I wear bigger sneakers too. Like today I wore some Supreme Jordan fives and they're big on my feet, but like the ultra boost, I don't know. I, I, exactly what you said i feel like i'm wearing like those ralphie gloves from like that christmas story movie yeah. like these just big gloves on my feet <laughs> i don't know those are randy gloves you got to get the characters uh, right girl no. <laughs> well, I thought his name was ralphie. I don't know. ralphie was the main character his, his brother oh, was Randy. you know i know these kind of like <laughs> yeah. frivolous things you got me <laughs> so if, if you guys get a chance to take a look at her website or take a look at her on, on instagram uh, you can definitely see she's got style um, what types of things influence your style? Because I think that your style is a little, it's, it's not like a style you see everybody wear, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So, I mean, definitely take a peek at my website. You'll kind of get more of an, an idea of what I look like or my Instagram. You can't really see me right now because my uh, video cam isn't working. But I would definitely say that my style kind of just, I've, really like like darker type colors i i stay to brands kind of i have expensive taste when it comes to style and i've kind of put my shoe game on pause a little bit just because i'm kind of getting a little bit more into just the whole like fashion and trying to get you know a sponsorship with some type of modeling okay. but i would definitely say that i'm kind of into like supreme um i rock a lot of that i rock a lot of babe Missed. i rock a lot of yeah <laughs> i knew you were gonna say it um recently i've been kind of getting a little bit like up there with some of the brands like uh uh hair on preston a little bit of off white different things like that so i've kind of just made myself like but like uh quality over quantity so like just like purchasing just like really nice things that like last a lot longer but i would say like basics i'm, I'm really into supreme probably is probably my go-to yeah i don't think i could ever uh I could never get through if I wanted something, but then it's just like I'm I'm too lazy when it comes to something like that. But uh, speaking of Supreme, and you know, you said you just said you had the Supreme Jordan Fives. Uh, what's your mm -hmm. What's your favorite collab of Supreme shoes? Of just your favorite two, you know, say if it was Supreme and Nike, or you know, if it's Off White and Nike, or oh, okay. Adidas, and I mean, whoever. I got you. I would definitely say my favorite collab is probably Off White and Nike. Um, I recently, um, I purchased, I got, was able to get the Vapor Max Off Whites and the Zoom Flies for retail. I paid resale on a pair of the 90s, and I actually, I really did like the shoe, but I actually ended up selling them just for <laughs> other things. <Flip. laughs> but no, there's, there's, there's more reasons to that. Um, to i think i told you a little bit why i sold them yeah. but um they're i really like the, the whole off-white concept with nike on how he deconstructed these shoes out of the whole entire pack my favorite are probably the prestos but i just simply cannot justify spending a thousand dollars for a pair of sneakers i just physically just can't do it because i'm i would be like if i went out and i was wearing these thousand dollar kicks and someone like stepped on them or something i'd be like ready to like scrap like yeah. i would be i would be pissed so what's your what's your threshold like what's your limit as far as like what you would pay on the shoes to keep the most i've ever purchased on a pair of sneakers was 650 dollars. okay but let me tell you i flip things to like justify that cost yeah i feel that you're, you're kind of like uh our our resident mr unboxed <laughs> <laughs> yeah my boy so like i'll be like i'll be like well i sold these three so i bought this one that's this much whatever like in my in the back of my head i like 
that's how I justify it. But yeah. at the same time, like, I don't know. It's just, I'd rather be addicted to sneakers than other things. So that's what I yeah. say for that. There's a lot of people that are addicted to lots of things. People, mm. no, <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so at, at 2018, we've seen a lot of, there's, uh, Jordan's gone crazy. Um, yes, they've been killing it. What's your what's your favorite release so far of uh, 2018? Any brand? Any brand? Yep. Whew. So I'm definitely gonna have to say, and I'm actually really shocked that I'm saying this, but my favorite shoe so far is probably the Jordan One Bread Toes. Yeah, I, it's up there for me too. For the sure. quality on them, and I have the grade school version, is insane. Like that leather, just. I'm a sucker for anything that's red, black, and has, like, that little hints of white. And I just love the quality on them. And it's actually kind of crazy because I don't know if you checked my latest um, blog, but I did a review on them, and I actually wasn't going to purchase them. The only reason that I did is because a friend of mine that used to work at the store that I work at, she's now a manager at Sneaker Villa. Okay. And she texts me, and she hit me up, and she's like, yo, Brookie Dude, do you want these bread toes that are coming out? I'm like, I got the black toes. Like, they're my favorite ones. Like, I'm about to get a tattoo of them. Like, I love them. Like, this and that. She's like, well, you know, um, no one wants them. No one wants the grade school seven. I know that's your size. I can get my employee discount. They'd be 70 bucks. Uh -huh. Are you sure you don't? Are you sure you don't want them? And I'm like, all right, I'll cash app you right now, girl. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, done that's, deal. that's a done deal right there. And then let me And I'm actually shocked I pay it. Like I was thinking about pay it. I'm really glad I didn't because I love them. Like yeah. they're real I wish I kinda would have doubled up on them. Now. Yeah, if you uh if you got if you got a black toe tattoo on your arm, then you gotta have the bread toe. That's just you just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Yeah, maybe on the next one, but my next tattoo, uh, I already kind of got that planned out. So we'll we'll see uh -oh. though. That's I gotta I gotta finish this arm. And let me tell mm -hmm. everybody if you end up going to check out uh, her blog, she does crease them a little a little bit. Uh, the breads, the picture. Oh, <laughs> you like that? Were you? Someone was like, <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I thought people would kind of like that, but that just shows the quality of it. But, like, honestly, like, I say this with my Jordan 5 Supremes right now of shoe trees in them, but at the same time, like, I wear my shit. Like, yeah, I beat it up. I like, you. <laughs> you know, you just got to. I think ones look better beat up anyway. Yeah, ones you can you can get away with that, but there's a lot of Jordans that look ridiculous when they get that dimple in the side. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, no. I think, what, 12s kind of get like that. 13s um but yeah i mean it, it it is what it is they're your shoes you rock them how you like to uh, but right now i'm gonna go ahead and open up the uh the panel see if they have any questions if not we'll get into the get in for sure i got a quick personal question um uh, running what kind of you do any races yeah any so um, I've done marathon. I haven't done a full marathon, but I've done like quite a few half marathons. I've done like five uh, Ks. I've done tough mutters. Mm -hmm. I do pretty much. I just love the run. So I, it's really. I want to do a marathon, but I know a lot of people that have done it, and it was kind of like bad on their knees, and mm -hmm. it requires just like uh, a lot of training. So <laughs> that's kind of just with my retail schedule with work and everything. It's kind of tough. It's not that bad, and you need. I've done. I've done. The reason I ask, I, I've done two marathons. I used to do a lot of races. Oh, really? This yeah. nigga. Hey. So, <laughs> I mean, so it's, it's not really that bad. Humble brag. Even, you know, I ran. No, man, man. No, man, man. eating eating uh, boiled eggs and wings is not a marathon. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Be, before I put on this fifty pounds, you so know, I ran I to did, Africa. I did. <laughs> I've been to Wakanda. I've seen hey, it. It's alive. <laughs> so that, that's Small, a nice person. <laughs> I'm about to say I swallow one of my kids. Shit, they're like, whoa! But yeah. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean it like that. <laughs> oh my so you over there masturbating better upside better down way. again? <laughs> there are better ways for natural. Oh anyway, right? man, Mike, you, Mike, you got to stop. You got to stop. I, you know, I'm not even asking. We'll, your we'll, head, we'll, we'll yeah, talk offline. Next, almost, next segment. Let's go. You, yeah, you yeah almost, hit me up. You almost got, that? You yeah, almost we'll, got we'll, caught up on that one. I was ready to cook you. <laughs> <laughs> You be, you be, you be, you be, you be jacking off, twerking, <laughs> upside down. 
Yeah. <laughs> he said, I call this the blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Eight Nine, our sponsor. <laughs> if we still have them, uh, I think they cool. They cool oh, with it. Shit. Y'all see Eight Nine? Bang bang. Well, I, I got I got a question for you, bro. Being that you're a fashion icon like myself, and you know, hey, I you see wanna, you on the gram. I you see only you. one of the only two percent of the people on IG that know how to dress. He don't uh, need a house though. <laughs> Whatever. He sent this uh, shit back to Amazon. When you, when you dress, when you, put, when you put your fits together, do you go, you know, shoes first and then the outfit, or do you get the outfit and go with the shoes next? That's a really great question. And it's kind of crazy because my girlfriend was like super impressed with this when like we kind of started like first living together. So every morning before I have like go to work, I go to the gym right before I go to work. So the night before, I pack my outfit. So, yeah. like, I could be feeling, like, some type of way at night, and then maybe I wake up in the morning and it's totally different. But I usually match my shoes to my denim or whatever pants that I'm wearing. Okay. okay. Because I wear, um, I wear like, a lot of darker, like, tops. I usually always wear, like, any type. Like, I wear, like, a lot of, like, Kith, like I said, Bape or Supreme, just, like, darker tops or anything. Sometimes I'll wear, like, a little bit of color, too. But I really base my shoes off of my pants. So if I'm wearing denim or if I'm wearing joggers, that kind of depends on the shoes. Like, in my opinion, I like to wear, like, if I'm wearing joggers, that's when I wear, like, a lot of, like, runners. So, like, the Fly Knit Trainers, Vapor Maxes, anything like that. Sometimes some Jordans every now and again. I just think when you're wearing, like, denim and you try to put on some, like, runners, they just look whack. Right. I don't know. And, like, the the joggers kind of, like, set that little, like, sneak peek of your ankle kind of thing. True. Cool. But I would definitely say I base a lot of it off of like the pants that I'm wearing for what kind of shoes I'm gonna pull off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hear that you uh, unfashionable people on the show. <laughs> hey man. Yeah. Hey, I'm married. I'm married with a new baby. I ain't gotta go nowhere. <laughs> I only go to I only go to Foot Locker to pick my shoes up. I don't know how you all... talk to your wife with the way you dress. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Homie. They stop trying to throw shit over here. What you say, Tiger Woods? What you say? <laughs> so maybe get that driver. <laughs> Please do and go right upside yeah, the back of the head. Said, Marcus, 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 you, Marcus, you dress so nice because you can leave yeah. the tags on your clothes because you don't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Taking off, he picks in the house naked. <laughs> Whoa. Oh <my> <laughs> He said that he seen Marcus butt naked on a sit and spin. <laughs> You're the only person that be worried about me being naked. I mean, do you want me to send you some news? Is oh, that- no, 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 no. You keep no, talking please, about it. Please, oh, please. man. Please, Rip, no, Rip Van no. Winkle. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's just make sure I send a uh, DM and not in group chat. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't like popcorn shrimp. You good. Oh, <laughs> he said he said he like, he, I like whale dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so wait, so wait, oh, I gotta shit. know. None of you guys purchased the lunar the lunar reacts yet? Fuck I, no, baby. Well, let's see. Oh here. My gosh. We're no. bulking up. <laughs> I, need, I need to get I need to get something there. I'll give them a try now. On the weekends, I've actually found myself wearing a lot more runners just because I'm running errands like crazy. I'm like all over the place. So it's something that I might actually give a try. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think I think what, it's what? I think maybe once it gets a different colorway, maybe I might. Buck twenty, buck fifty, somewhere in that range. I could do one, that. yeah, one fifty. Oh yeah, I can. Cause I would just beat them up. Oh yeah, I can't. Uh, but I'll drop three k on some shit I'll never wear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cause I want it for comfort. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got, yeah, I got shit for that to run. For my, you know, I'm, like, you know, I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try them. Wear them for an hour. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you better. They're but great. I re- but if I'm going to run in them, I'm going to wind up putting it. Like, I'm supposed to be training now. I'm going to put a lot of miles in them, so I'm going to burn through them. You need a lot of weight. <laughs> the, thing <with> is, <laughs> the thing with that is, for, for runners, though, I like the Reacts, but I actually like the Zoom Flies a lot more. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them on. They are probably my favorite shoe by Nike, huh. hands down. Are you running like outdoor, are... or are you just running on a treadmill? Treadmill, yeah. Oh, hold up. That's supposed to be outdoor. I thought you yeah. did run out. Yo, it is cold up in this bitch yeah. outside right yeah, now. Sure. <laughs> lay, 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 I, 
I'm oh, sorry. yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm fat. Yeah. I'm fat. Yeah, I can do you that. out there in Philly. Uh, <laughs> Meek and Freeway might roll up on you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Is she running through the prison yard, maybe? <laughs> Man. Hashtag free, free me, Quill. Free me. <laughs> so, y'all want to get into the pickups? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, who's first? And, Brooke, I guess, I mean, you can tell us what you got if you got anything since you can't show us. <laughs> uh, I mean, that, that works just. Uh, I can you tell know, you. On iTunes. So, are we doing like. For the month so far, or for the week, just for the the latest releases or la- latest pickups, like the week. I mean, if you got right. two weeks, you know, you could stretch that far. <laughs> so I recently picked up a pair of shoes that some people might call me crazy for purchasing, um, for how much they were. But for my size, I kind of needed to do it because it was the only size that I could find that was like for sale on any type of website, and it was the. Nike Air Max 97 undefeated. The black Gucci gang colorway. Gucci. Mm -hmm. So I picked those up and I also picked up, um, I got super lucky on Saturday when they restocked the Wave Runners. Man. I was able Uh, to cop, I was able to cop them off Easy Supply. Wow. Yeah. I tried, I'm I'm gonna admit, I tried because I was about to flip them things. Uh, yeah. Yeezy, Yeezy was like, "All right, hey, stay here for a second. <laughs> yeah, they did that to me, that to later. me too. As I was at the post office, and I'm like holding up my phone, and the lady's trying to have a conversation with me, and I was like, hold on a second, you gotta stop because I gotta concentrate right now. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it came back, and it was like, man, something crazy happened. Your shoes Ooh, got man. taken by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got stuck too. I just I took a couple of L's. It is what it is. F- and I thought of, I thought about um picking up. Well, I ordered them, but I'm probably gonna send them back through Nike. Were those um because I got those two. Were the they were like the Vapor Max '97 styles. Those like Tokyo mm-hmm. ones with the the bubbles on the bottom. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep those ones just because I'm gonna be going in New York at the end of for Air Max Day, actually, and I just, I don't know. I, I feel like that they're just something that's not that great I think that they, for the price. I think they look good, um, but, you know. 190 is a little steep. I mean, I oh, pay no, one nine. I pay one ninety every every Saturday. One ninety is the lowest these days. Every Saturday, you got to come out one ninety. They got the direct deposit already. <laughs> I'm Oops. good. I'm, I'm going through like sneaker rehab right now. This is the second week in a row that I do not have mm. to pick up. Bullshit. But what do you mean bullshit? So but me, he, but me, he also has like 800 pairs of shoes though. Let me, <laughs> so. let me, you, let me ask you this though. How do you, how do you, how do you resist? Do you turn off like social media? Like what do you do to kind of like keep yourself like not tempted? No, I'm a glutton for punishment. So I'm still on social media. I'm still looking at the app. I went in there and I clicked buy several times and I saw sizes were there and I'm like, eh, no, nah, I'm good. Like I was going to pick up the bread nines. Usually I'll just buy it. And if I don't want it, I can send it back, whatever. But normally I don't do that. So in order to kind of curb myself, because I know myself fairly well, I, was just, I just <laughs> didn't buy it. So I didn't buy the Hyper Roll 13s. Mm-hmm. I did not buy the bread mm-hmm. nines. So and like I've kind of. No, I haven't picked up anything else like that too. No, you be buying, bro. Don't don't try to fake the funk. <laughs> right. So like the thing is with me, Brooke, like you can get rid of some things, but like, I don't really wear those. I'm gonna sell them and I'm gonna buy something I like. I don't have that in me. When I I get separation anxiety. So when I sell it, I'll be like, damn, I shouldn't have sold that. I gotta buy it back. But you got four pairs of everything. <laughs> yeah, he did. <does. laughs> <The fuck? laughs> um, that's not true. <laughs> At well, least two. a lot of stuff. <laughs> right. No, if I have multiples of something and I let it go, I can live with it. Um, you know, it just is what it is. But a lot of times when I let it go, though, like I'm not looking to beat anybody over the head, so it's at a fairly low price. And then when I want to buy it back, they be like, "Nah, bro, like this is the price." I'm like, "Really?" <laughs> oh, let me get, oh, them, let me get them confetti for for retail for me, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, fan I price. don't get sold, dog. You know that. Man, who next? <clears throat> Mike, what you got? I only got one. Like Molly said, I am slowing down as well. 
Shut up. <laughs> I got these. The brrr, motorboat Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> you, you know, I mean, you know, he's saving that little clip, right? Yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> oh, shit, I keep forgetting. You know what? It's gonna be. I like, gotta watch. It. It's gonna be like, who dick is this? And it's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you don't ever get. Don't shit, ever make me I, forgot, I forgot who I'm talking to. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm gonna chill out. That's yeah, all I got. I don't understand where Kev grew up. <laughs> why he's got like some comeback for every phallic joke there is in the world. <laughs> like there is not a sexual innuendo. You gotta, you gotta, can, you gotta humble people, like, man, and that's that's when like, people get uncomfortable. You gotta go right at the jugular. Kevin got picked on a lot as a kid, so this is like, like you gotta be ready like, to go. You gotta be ready to go. You can't throw hands now. There's a perverted comeback joke. He be saying shit that I don't even know. I just laugh because it sounds funny. Yeah, that's what it is, man. You he know? got picked on a lot. He decided to go watch some uh, Red Fox videos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where you get his from. Something. Oh, man. I forgot. I'm, I'm done. That's man. all I got. Marcus, man, what you got? All right. Nike sent this really fast. I was. Okay. You don't even like bronze. Nike and, and you know what? You know what, dude? I got these, and at first I was like, you know what? I'm probably just going to sell them. I don't even know why I got them. But when I got them in hand, man, they are dope in hand. I mean, for real. Oh, man. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm you hit us these. all up talking. You, uh, are they going for anything? Yeah, I was nah. going to say. What's the? Nah. Because the diamond turrets are going for retail or less. Yeah, these are going a little bit over retail, maybe like 50 bucks over retail. I oh. mean, even, even if they were going for even double, I wouldn't sell them because I like them. That's hmm. a lie. You must I'm sick. No, I do like them. I didn't think I was going to like them, but so, they, they're nice. They were 200, right? 200 retail? I dig them. Well, yeah, I think that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. The Diamond Turks right now, I just saw that they went for 260. If you don't yeah. know, I'm constantly on StockX throughout the course of the show. Yes. Yeah, I did. I know, all day with your life. Who are you talking about to say? Shoot. You do that all day with you your life. you anything else? No. Well, would you believe that work? The computer. StockX be doing some foo foo things, in my opinion. Kev knows exactly yeah. what I mean. Yeah, fuck StockX. Like, like, fuck what? StockX. Fuck StockX. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> oh, we need oh, sponsors. Hold oh, oh. <laughs> on, oh, oh, I'm just saying. Offline. Take that offline. Yeah. Take, take it off. No, you're messing it. with the money. <laughs> okay. He didn't here's, mean it. Here's why I'm pissed off with StockX. Okay. So, the anniversaries, I find the anniversary, the royal anniversaries on there for a good ass price. Ordered them. And I sat and I waited for the shipper, to, the, the the seller to send them. That took about three or four days. Then they got to StockX and it said, uh, what is it, authentication or whatever? Two weeks. Authentication. <laughs> Two fucking weeks. So oh my God. I hit up Mo and I'm like, I'm like, Mo, what 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 should I do? And Mo was just like, send them email. So I shot, shot him an email. Contact mesh, bro. And <laughs> they responded, oh, here's your tracking number. Another fucking week went by. <laughs> With the tracking number, it, it never moved. Right away. It said UPS ready. It never moved. So I hit the dude up again. He's like, oh, we're going to send you a refund. We lost the shoes. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, three weeks later, you, yeah, I missed. One of employees. Yeah, that, one employees that, bottom. Company, that company, I honestly, I don't think they're going to be around for any more period of time. I like, I, I don't know. I don't think they're going to oh. last. Their, well, pri they're, 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 last. their prices I, I, are way... Way better they're than the all the other ones. Yeah, yeah, they're the lowest. I think they'll be around. But, but Kev, they... remember, remember what happened to you when I got them shoes sent to me. Yeah, you well, remember? Yeah, but I think a lot of people do that because this what happened. happened. Oh, it's happened. Yeah, what happened? We'll, we'll talk about that off air. Cause, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. I, Listen, I think they're getting lazy. I mean, that's. I haven't I'm... had like a perfect. Yeah. Interaction. You hit it right. They're getting but... lazy. Here, here's the thing. is an issue. They fix it. Dave, they're like. And, and Brooke, don't take this the wrong way because I love Apple, but Apple got lazy after they took over the market, and oh, they're, yeah. they're not they're not innovative <laughs> as they were before. And I think now StockX is like, okay, we've taken over. We're the go-to brand for you know sneakers, so now we can be a little lazy. Now we don't have to you know be on point and have you know and do things the way we we're doing in the beginning. I think that's what happened. So 
I mean, their prices are a lot better than goat, though. I will say that. Yeah, like, goat, yeah, they got goat, goat's now. prices are tripping sometimes. Yeah. I look on goat. I'm like, what the hell? Oh my yeah. god, who the who do you think are gonna sell this shit? Yeah, there's, <laughs> like, somebody, there's, there's somebody that shit. owns a corner store selling all their shoes, like, <laughs> like, bro, like a pack of gum. Oh, yeah. uh, a pack of gum costs five dollars. <laughs> but their prices, but StockX, their prices are they are the lowest. Yeah. You know, they, they got good prices. They're very yeah. competitive. So. I, I, I like them. I, I picked these up instead. This is my consolation prize. And I mean, of course, they're not like the Royals, but I mean, I like them. They're pretty good. Consolation dope. prize, man. You just had a pickup before that. What you need a consolation prize? Get out of my face. order being canceled. <laughs> what you got to for? Mets have filled the void. I had to, I had to give me another Air Max to compensate for that Air Max. I mean, man. I mean, and as, as we felt that it was already a good ass price. Open on that. mechanisms. And then my steel, my steel. Them flip flops. Of 2018, my steal. We was at the sneaker, what was the exclusive sneak show a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, and, look, uh, are you trying to be like me, man? Man, ain't about trying to be like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the senior. You are trying to be like me, player? Whatever. Anyway, anyway. Young trend. So, <laughs> young man had these on the table, you know, and he had a price set out on them, and I, I walked up to him, and you know, I did my 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 player hustle that I do. You know, you go over there, you look at the shoe, and be like, "Man, how many shells will you know? take for this?" You be no, you know, <laughs> I know exactly what he did. He went up to the kids, like, "How much is this?" God damn, I can't do that. I can't do that. No, I, give man, I give you for half. Real. For real though, I, you know, I looked at the shoe and I'm like, "All right, well, let me think about it. I'm gonna walk around and see what else they got." I came back. I'm like, "Man, they still sitting there. I don't think nobody gonna buy them." So he was just like, "Yeah, somebody gonna get them." So I went back about an hour later. I'm like, dude, ain't about buying these shoes. I got 120. He's like, huh? <laughs> Nigga, I got 120. Here. All right. I got my shoes. I, I love these. The, the the candy pack red Jordan 2. I've been wanting oh. this for a minute. Can we, can we ask what the what the original, what you talked him down from? I didn't know it was. It was like two, maybe. I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, you got to steal. Shit. Yeah. I don't, remember, I don't remember what I paid for mine. Because I, I had mine buck. first. I got mine above uh -huh. 50. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, damn. You get anything else? Nah, it's stuff on the way, but you got to see that next week. Oh, I got I got All some right. things on the way, but. All right. Well, I'll go through yeah. mine. <laughs> I did get the, I did get the uh, W2 <laughs> Jordan 9s. Uh, Lord, what the hell are these? the bread? These are the bread. But I I put the um leather laces in there. Uh, shout out to Sneakerheads Clothing Line. Um, he sent me these uh, when I bought a. I think I bought some laces for my Yeezys or something. But you got the black patent leather, uh, the little red basketball on the back, and the pleather upper. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not <laughs> the quality's not the greatest. But I mean, it does to me. It reminds me of the Ben, um, and it's not. It's not a bad shoe. I typically don't like all black shoes, but um, these were all right. And I can't believe they sold out. Uh, but we'll get in, we'll get into that later. I can't believe it. Um, I got the uh, Cherry Twelves. This is tire. Copping on the loop. I'm tired of. Didn't you send me this? Hell no! I sent you that shit. I thought it was you or KB. Somebody there you sent, go then. Somebody Welcome to the club, dog. Welcome to the club. Somebody sent me the the the, the lead on KB. this. So finally, KB. I got these back. Uh, Cherry twelves. Um, I had these. I played ball in these in high school. Uh, what was that? Ninety six. Um, but yeah, man, I'm glad to have these back. I was tired of waiting for them to come back, and they don't seem to ever want to come back. Then I got these. You guys probably don't like these, but I love uh, Air Force Max. Uh, Charles Barkley's and I found the red pair on uh, eBay. eBay had a great deal. It was like 20% off on the shoes. Yes. Uh, so I went ahead and what? picked these uh, Air Force Max up. The red pair. Um, Almost like got my Kobe's off that damn deal. Yeah, man. That it was. I think yeah, it I was like, nice to like 11 bucks. Off that deal. And then um, I got the what? What is this? Hyper what? Royal. Hyper Royal 13s. Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to miss. I actually, I doubled up on these. Um, I didn't want to miss. I doubled up on these. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Here's the deal. Here's the deal with that. All right. I ordered, I ordered. I ordered them from Foot Locker early, 
and you know everything went through but i didn't get a confirmation so i was like mm. let me and then i started seeing them sell out everywhere so i started freaking out and i went to the Foot Locker uh down the street and they had sold out already so i was like all right let me go ahead and buy these on nike and then you know if one if i had to get rid of one then i can and uh, so I bought them on Nike too, and I haven't even taken them out of the box. So, you know, maybe I'll I might sell those. I might keep them. I don't know. But then also I got the uh, the Game Royal ones, um, and people are asking about like the quality on these. I say that they're similar to the Chicago one as far as the quality. Um, it's almost a, a perfect, you know, colorway swap, except for you have a black tongue instead of the white tongue. Uh, but I mean, it was definitely a must cop for me, and I know a lot of people are saying, "Well, you know, storm blue, sat or whatever." But the, there's there's a difference between oh, yeah. this blue and a storm blue. I mean, it's a it's it's a definite difference. Yeah. Um, those ain't sitting. Yeah, I don't think these are gonna sit at all. Who cares I think if that, they sit? Who but cares? I'm just saying. I'm just I mean, saying. It, well, I'm it just matters saying, well, in the sense of the urgency to pick right. them up. Last right. year, I copped so many pairs just over a hundred dollars because they were sitting and they were clearing them out right so with the recent releases you're trying to figure out is this something that i need to be on top of can i go and run my errands at 10 o'clock or do i need to be on my phone you right. so need to, to them be up, on top of everything that you got your eye on period it matter, but, but those aren't a, those aren't a like a deal breaker for me like i'm i'm breathing just fine without the bread nines i'm, I'm living very happily without the hyper royals like so for right, you are, you are, but the average consumer out there who, as we watched on IG all weekend, people complaining, oh, these sold out because of tax season and this and that. Here, no, they sold listen, out because you were lazy. <laughs> here, here's the thing: regardless of what reason it sold out, this is 2018, it ain't 2017. If you want a shoe, go get the damn shoe. Don't sit around and wait for the price to drop. Don't sit around and think you're gonna get it later. Go get the damn shoe because you don't know what the quantities are gonna be like unless you got a plug somewhere which I've already talked about that. Meet these people in these stores and go in there and say, hey man, how many pairs of 11s did you get? If you're cool with somebody, they're going to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's all about, you know, putting in that footwork. This year is a different beast. Because last year, yeah. I mean, if you, could, if you could, if you have the opportunity to save money, if you could, you know, not spend $60, $70 right. on a pair of shoes and still get the shoe, then, you know, last year you could take your chances. This year, Jordan's not playing with it. You know, ever since those was after the olives, it was a wrap. I mean, there's a, a crap load of uh, black cements and you could have got those. If you didn't, if you wanted them and you didn't get them. Right. Then you and they, and they <laughs> yeah. restocked. They restocked. Yeah, they were stocked times. so many times. Yeah. And yeah. you'll see, you'll see they're doing something now where they they restocked the very next day at some random place, but you are good luck trying to get those. That's like, Trying to order oh, yeah. something off of uh, Shoe Palace, and the carts oh, and the carts get busy. <laughs> Let's not talk about that one. Two minutes later, yeah. yeah, it's like, oh yeah, just wait here. I'm like, okay. But the other that. thing too, back door is like, you can buy stuff off of Nike. You got a year to return it, buy it, just sit on it, and then if the price drops, return it and pick it up. Man, and if telling don't, everybody's then... a secret. Yeah, okay, you need to learn how to <laughs> shut your fat mouth. <laughs> but you know, ain't nobody gonna do that. No. Who's really gonna buy and just sit? Sneaker addict. What, what size you wear? <sighs> yeah, shoe pounds. I've been trying to make no deals on the show, man. All right, we move on. <laughs> look out for the look out for the show. Get him in the DM. I, I need the Atmos. Um, the yeah, actual Atmos. Uh, I saw you. Camo undefeated pair and the white pair. Uh, so if you have that, hit me up. Let me see what else is on the list. I need <laughs> both of the animal packs. I need the uh, whole animal pack. No selling on the show. That was your words. You, 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 zip, zip. I'm not selling. What? 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 You, what? What? What'd you say? <laughs> say, say it again. No. Uh, One more time. <laughs> That's too good. Man. Now, all jokes aside, if you have any of those, hit me up. <clears throat> yeah, I see. I seen your uh your shopping list. On your story, if you want to know what he needs, and go ahead and look on that. He's telling you the price that he's gonna pay. Oh he, yeah, I'll let you know. You can hit up, hit up the collects, man. He got you. Um. <laughs> what is that? What is that? 
He must be looking at something on stock. Yeah, he must have found <laughs> something. He's like, oh, like I don't oh. find what I need. That is a uh, that is, that is an intentional pause. <laughs> I got you. It's my code yep. PayPal. Um, no, yeah. If if you're looking to sell something, you know, I I pretty much tell you exactly what I'll pay. Yeah, it, well, it doesn't get any easier than that. Marcus, man, you got us teed up for the releases. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah. it. All right, I'm gonna lock on in, over here. Lock in on you. Everybody, remember to remind me to unlock him. Yes, please, please. We don't want to look at that mug any longer than we have. We get a whole show. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> ever complains when it's locked on me. You never get a complaint. You know, he's trying to load his floppy disk. Uh, just remember <laughs> that we are streaming on iTunes, so be sure to subscribe on that. All right. Oh yeah, check us out on iTunes. Everybody, go ahead and. Uh, iTunes, subscribe, download, yes. comment. Even if you don't even listen to reviews, iTunes, leave us some reviews. Good ones. Some good, good reviews. Bad ones. If it's bad, good enough. reviews drive us up the chart. Don't be that dumbass who left us a one star. Oh, Lord. Kick the habit. Will... I need those sinkers too. Both of them, the JTH, any other ones. Uh, <clears> uh, ahead, I don't need them. The selling, the selling section is over at this point. No more selling. All right. Chat. So we got the Nike Air Safari OG. It's no. coming out. Is that a no across the board? I, I say no. Yeah, that's a, no. that's a trash can. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> no, you know what? Look, all right. I, I, I have like, to apologize. That looks, like a, that looks like a bowling shoe. It I'm does. sorry. That it looks does. like if you're kind of like it does. Yeah. bowl. I gotta, that I'm looks a, awful. I'm going to stop, I'm gonna stop calling <laughs> shoes trash because it's not, a, yes, it's not a trash shoe. It's just not what I it's like. It's unappealing. It is a pimp's bowling shoe. It's very <laughs> <laughs> you said, I've is. been pimping wow. since pimping, pimping. <laughs> but I do hear that they're very limited. It's like less than 500 pairs, Mo. So, uh, mm, I can't wait, really? <laughs> it's made out of e, it's made out of Ewok sack. <laughs> wait, really? On, on second thought, let me get my goblet out. <laughs> so I got my cane. This is my drink. <laughs> All right, well, since it is Air Max month, we got a Nike Air Max 180, the bright ceramic coming out. Laker colors. Make show. They're not bad. I just, I don't need them. I don't need them either. I'm trying to get uh, to a better place, y'all. Oh, man. We're going to skip over this fly net trainer. We got a couple of the Pharrell human racers coming out. I want those. Like, I'm about these, to, like, really, really, really blast my my IG and just solicit information. How the hell do I obtain these? I would like to at least have one pair of human races in my collection. Who's playing ping pong? So, so that's a sh that's a shoe that I would definitely say I regret selling. I had like one of the OG ones. Oh, oh what? And what's it going for now? With, with the black, with the with the yellow laces, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the yellow joint. Oh, the black with the yellow ones. Those are about eight hundred. Yeah. Now? Oof. Oh, higher than that. Probably oh, like a thousand. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, that hurts. That's 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 one that's one shoe. That's another that reason why I don't sell. Yeah. Now this this colorway right here is dope. Yo, they're all popping. I want them. I would oh, rock the hell out of these. It's like a color, like a color run. Shoe. Yeah, is that is so it, the, that, the Easter look? Uh, I like those though. Hell no, nah. y'all tripping. <laughs> These <laughs> Easter Sunday yeah. joints. Come on, man. <laughs> Kevin, you dress like the UPS man. So uh, don't even uh, yeah. yeah, that's your girl. I was dropping packages off last night. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Step into what? my office. Wait, hold up. He, has, he has king. No hesitation at all. Black <laughs> <Matt> king. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh. I'm built for this. So the end, <laughs> the end, the end actually has a, a raffle on yeah. those. But uh, you know, no, what are what are the that chances? That is not right? real. That that's all backdoored. You probably sell two pairs online. <laughs> no, I actually, I actually know one of my friends. It's actually crazy. One of the sneakerheads that I work with at work, and he's actually one of my best friends. He's like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I just got this notice from my credit card. I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like. The end, like, just randomly charged my car. Like, he forgot that he signed up for the raffle, and he actually got picked for those all-white ones that came out. But his car, his bank, like, sent him a message, and he thought it was unauthorized. So he was just like, yeah, I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, so they denied it. They no. denied it. Damn. So, then, Damn. So, so he emailed the end, and they emailed him back, and they were like, hi, like, we're sorry. Like, 
we try to let you know that you won these shoes, but your credit card, <laughs> your credit card declined the transaction, so we had to let them go. Hey, he shouldn't have had like, that. He oh shouldn't have had that rush card. Which one was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was that? No, no, no. Which one? Uh, it was, it was the white card. ones, the white ones that came out like two weeks ago, maybe, or a week and a half ago. The all whites. I like those the black equality ones. I'm gonna try to get them. I'm yeah, gonna I, I, and, and it's pretty legit. I mean, I've seen a lot of people who. Oh I yeah, and is, and, win, and is legit. I know there. Shit, I don't know nobody. The only person I know now is your friend, bro. Oh, it's a, <laughs> no, uh, a friend of a friend of a friend who won. <laughs> one of my other like sneaker homies that I've met through social media that hopefully I link up with when I'm in NYC to the month of camp out. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. He um he won the Wasabi uh Asics off the end. So I mean, who knows? They didn't they didn't do me any good with the Jordan off white the all the white the white pair. I tried to enter in the raffle for the grade school and the men's size and I didn't win. Love it, not today. <laughs> Like the law of averages say you should at least win one time. One time. I've entered every single raffle that they've ever offered. And I have never ever won. But you got all the all the OVOs, man. You can't cry too. What's much. that mean? I'm I'm scared. I've won two, 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 two raffles in a row, and I think that might be my my limit. I'm a little nervous. Oh, I'm not I'm talking about one. raffles in general. I'm just talking specifically on that site. Uh oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I win things. I win shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, so next for the Little Feats, got the Little Positive One Space Jam, another shoe they call in the Space Jam because they just there you go, Mike. Be done. <laughs> I, I, I got my limits. They should have made those in the dope. That's probably doper than most of the phones that they drop out. I mean, the, the kid's size is terrible, of course, because they look like of course. extra, I don't Somebody know. Somebody sleep? <laughs> I know. What? <laughs> I think somebody's vaping. Somebody's oh, yeah. somebody vaping. Is that you, Brooke? She got, a, she got a water bone. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was vaping. Uh, <laughs> I was like, is she, is she like this? She's over there, shoot, shoot Minotti. You got a shoe No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then your I camera pop the, up. I had to, <laughs> no, I had no, to you, hit the vape real quick. Uh, no, it's all good. The, the listeners will get a little something extra during this, uh, this piece of the podcast. Oh, my God. Look at these. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> these Lamar no, Latrell. No, these Lamar no, Latrells. No, 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 lost in space. Adidas. You oh. got the lambda, lambda, lambda. <laughs> oh my God. See, like this is this is why, like I get so an- this is why I get so annoyed with Adidas. Like they just oh. come out with shit. They just like come out with a shoe. Like this looks like an alien ass, like tin foiled shoe. But it's gonna sound and yeah. then it's gonna be a thousand dollars. So for, for those you can't wear those podcasts. <laughs> this is the uh, what, the, the Hender scheme. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. In Adidas, Micro Pacer Silver collaboration here and it literally looks like it's got tin foil over the upper of the shoe hold, hold, hold on here's here's the thing oh my god the price is 950 dollars that's oh. no baby hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> you not you can't even wear those close to a microwave that doesn't even look like the Reynolds. <laughs> Wait, you don't even look like the Reynolds aluminum foil. It looks like that cheap shit, that dollar store shit. So you wear it all, you turn into a comic they, book villain. They also do an <laughs> NMR one. Oh man, uh, what is going on? A thousand dollars? A thousand dollars. I like those to- I like those Tokyo Zoom flies that come out though, but I don't know. I gotta be picky. There's just too much. I honestly the only shoe that i really want this month are the sean witherspoons that's really all i want i'll I'll take those that's number three on my list three what's uh what's number one yeah animal pack man oh right 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 Uh, you can get one of the two which you want the 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 one or the 90 95 95 okay 95 even though the one seems like it's gonna be you know more limited from the looks of the number from the from the uh the uh, resale prices yeah Uh uh-huh I, you know what, right there, those uh, the Air Max, the 270 Tigers, those are fire. I want those. Hey, the, cool. and I think that they're dope. I've been waiting because I really do want to get a pair of the 270s, but I just don't know which ones to pick, like color wise. But I really like those a lot. I like the one that I has think- the, the black and, and purple in it. I like the, oh, the safari so, so I like those. I like those too. But then someone was like, "I don't know." They kind of remind me of the Lakers, and then it kind of killed it for me. And I was oh, like, so, Damn it. "So you one of them that it can't look like a certain team's color?" <laughs> yeah, you I another Kevin. Am. I, so like, if, if I 
if I get a shoe, if I get a shoe and it reminds me of something or someone that I work with who's like a noodle ends up getting it, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> like I got, I ended up getting the the Gundams and I was so excited about it. And this oh, one yeah. kid was like, yeah, I got them too. And I was like, fuck that, I'm selling them. <laughs> <laughs> but see, mom, the- just fucked up my day like oh come on uh, the difference but the difference between dan and kevin is that you know at least kevin will stick with it could be the dopest shoe if it's in michigan's color he's not gonna get it but it could be a dope dan, shoe. Be a dan if it's a hype shoe and it's limited i don't give a fuck what team you put on there. <laughs> if they got cars on that motherfucker he is buying period buy the grill Listen, we, have, we, we do have resident hype beasts. We do have hype Ogden, who's in the building. I get a little bit of. It's the GR kid. Remember, I'm I'm scaling back. What you talking about? You can't, even, had, you can't even spell GR. <laughs> I've been good. I only got what the Levi's and the. Uh, I'm in the, 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 the Kobe's. You ain't bought I mean, it in the Kobe's. You, that's your only pair of Kobe. I'm sorry, you have one other Kobe, supposedly. I have another one. I have another I one. Have another one. Yeah. The only Camo, thing, man. The only thing you have that's you trash have a Kobe is them Camo. Puma, them Puma, them Bolts. Oh, them, 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 them Clyde. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Skinner. Them, them Boats. <laughs> <laughs> those those Clyde Pumas. We ain't going to talk about those. Oh, Someone man. say limited? I got to go. Yeah. You got them, them Pele's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we got another Kyrie Ford coming out the black metallic silver. Man. Kyrie, he... God, man, man I, you know I'm really feeling He's this boring. silhouette. He's yeah, boring, I, I really am. At first, when we saw it, I, I I wasn't liking it, but I'm really feeling it. Do you have you a pair see, yet? It is the same mango eyelids. No, nah, I, I want the. Uh, of course, I want the confetti, and I want the. Uh, I thought you got those, Marcus. That red pair. The red one's China. not bad. Yeah, the red one's got not bad. I, mean, I got the confetti. The too. Jump on a StockX and cop it. Yeah. So yeah. I. I really like the Kyrie's, but I tried a pair on and they just didn't fit me right. Like I had to go a half size down and it felt like it was too tight. And then I went like my true to size and it just didn't fit right. I don't know what it was. I just, I didn't like how they fit my feet. Change your socks. Them things hurt. Yeah. I hurt my soul. <laughs> so, so I will, so I will say the the black power phases are pretty nice, but I still think the OGs and the tenant ones are better. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Adidas Yeezy Power Phase Black dropping uh, on March 17th for one yeah, I, want, I want those. I want uh, those. Yeah, Molly, I think they're... Molly, really? Yeah, Stop it, my Friday pair. Stop it, Stop it Beavis. They look like some <laughs> these, are, these are like some Beavis and Buttheads. <laughs> <laughs> they, they come out. There's one spot in Jersey that's gonna have them, and the all all the rest of them are New York. So unless I actually check in, I'm not gonna cop. Not only that, but that's it's gonna be next to impossible to get them on. Uh, on Saturday morning, so we'll see. Oh yeah. Oh, oh so does any, can anyone else? else. <laughs> so can anyone else agree to me that, in my opinion, and this is like a big reason why, like I got so fed up with Adidas, is that it is a lot easier to cop on Nike than it is on Adidas's website. Oh, can know. anyone else agree to that? I can never cop on Adidas. I mean, my six. Like Adidas record. Here. Adidas legit just that? takes. Adidas legit just takes me and puts me in their fucking waiting room and it's oh, like, yeah. bitch, sit, oh, sit yeah. here for like four days and we'll tell you that you didn't get the shoes, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That like, shit will they, sit there and spin. The it'll spin forever. One day I just let it sit and I said, let me, I wonder when it'll cut off. It literally spun for t- over 24 hours. Knowing yeah, that they were so awful. Out. Like Adidas is, they either need to get an app or they need to get that shit together. Like their, their website is horrible. Yeah, I don't even like, try. Horrible. I like if I ever did purchase Adidas in the past, I knew someone that worked at the store, so they were like my plug. And I'll tell you what, their discount is pretty lit. But other than that, I would have to like cop off of like sneakers and stuff, or like um, the end is another one. But the problem with those like websites is, is they're like if you get something and the size is off or you just don't want it, their return policy is horrible, especially the end, even though they are legit. They're one time I ordered a pair of shoes and I didn't realize it was still in UK sizing and I thought it was US and like the shipping Damn. the shoe yeah shipping the shoe back like huh. to get refunded 50 bucks. Yeah, yep well about $50 with uh-huh. customs it was ridiculous yeah no <laughs> Dude, but they have ends here though don't they no, I don't no. think so. They have sneakers and stuff they have here now in, in they have sneakers and stuff in New York I'm gonna check them out when I go and not this weekend, but the next weekend, which I'm super excited to go for. Yeah, I 
as we know. All right, so next up, we got the Atmos Nike Air Max 95 Animal Pack 2.0. This, this out of all Air Max, this is the one that Man. I want the most. Yeah, I agree to that. I think that's, I, I like that one the best as well. <laughs> this looks like Tony Montana's car. <laughs> he's, uh, Eartha, he's some Eartha kids from uh, like that boomerang. Like, I'm not wearing any panties, ma. <laughs> <laughs> the color blocking on this shoe, I, I think it's dope. So this this is the one. So if anybody want to give your boy an assist, I win 11. Good luck. Didn't they wear these in the yeah. air up there? When Kevin Bacon was playing basketball with them African cats. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, the that. King Jaffe Jofer. <laughs> All right, then next up. I like these. We got the Atmos Air Max 1 Animal Pack 2.0. And these are dope, too. I mean, this is my number two on my list of pickups. But this one's probably going to be a little bit harder to grab. But yeah, this, this shoe is dope. Hell no! Trash ass Paying over resale, if you don't hit. On the 95s, yeah, on these, I mean, I am guess I'm gonna have to, but I mean, okay. not much over, not much over. I mean, what's the, oh um, man. Did that Atmos, did the Atmos drop from last, last year significantly, what the resale originally was? No, it's going up. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I think when I looked the other day, it was like between eighteen hundred and two thousand. Wait, not the pack. Just the. Just you talking the, about the original, the original ones, or are you talking about the ones that just dropped last year? What dropped last? Which ones came out last year? Then uh, the ones you got. The uh, oh the no, no, no. That that okay. price has been hovering about. Well, I think at one point they were like four hundred and something. But yeah, okay. I I got them a lot under that a whole lot. I hate you. Don't look like them look like they came from a woman in 1998 who's got loose morals. Crawl the bells. I came with you, man. <laughs> wait, 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 your red. He got a red cup off camera. That's uh, what he got. I, I got a big red cup. My cup, my red cup bigger. Than uh, shit. <laughs> Okay. Yours. <laughs> we All right, then we're moving on. They got another Reebok question coming out, the Mint Glow. It's not bad. It looks like it's kind of got like a snakeskin type pattern on it. Ooh. Dropping on March 17th as well. Bricks. 140, kind of minty green color on the bottom. R.I.P., man. And that is all we're going to go through. For a, this, there's a Curry 5 that's releasing on Thursday, which is you the 14th. It? It's all black. Uh, it's got a translucent outsole. And it actually has pi 3.14159, blah, 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 right all throughout the course of the outsole that celebrates Steph's birthday and the release of the Curry 5. So I will be trying to get that. There's actually only 314 <laughs> pairs. So hype beast. Is that the shoe that you showed on your page? It is the shoe that I showed on my page. Yeah. Um, so it's hype beast, bad. like Mo. <laughs> nope. I might have to try. I got a pair of Under Armour. I might give another pair a go. I might have to try that. There's only 314 pairs. No. I might. Get it. it looks nicer. The only, the I only might give Under Armour. If, like, if it's 100 bucks. I like those those mm -hmm. red velvet. Uh, not what is velvet. that? Velvet? Red, red suede. Uh, oh, the low curries. joints? No, nah, the, the highs. And then those yeah, ones that Quavo oh. had. Oh, the custom joints that Mosh yeah, did? those things were sick. Yeah, it was pretty money. I was, uh, I was a little disappointed because I saw that Finish Line had sent out a couple, and I know that that they was that was their team that was handling it, and yeah. not necessarily UA. But um, if there's a ten and a half or an eleven flowing out there, UA peeps, who are listening. <clears throat> I, I don't think we have any UA peeps listening to the show. Okay, um, we actually do. <laughs> ah. Yeah. So if you look at it, you know it's got the whole the whole sequence there for Pi, and that's actually National Pi Day as well. So they, a little a little play on on his birthday. Oh man, I got the revenge okay. on the nurse. Head pie. All right. Um, <laughs> Y'all hit that like button. We got 69 watching, only 56 likes. One of you bastards right. put the, the unlike, but it's okay. That's wrong. So it, it's time to it's time to get into the okay. gap. Yeah. Time to get into the gap. All right. Hold, let's uh give us get a minute. Gap. You ain't been in the gap, bro. <laughs> Shout out, to, shout out, welcome to the Gap. 
And shout out to our sponsor, 8 and 9. Um, right now, um, go ahead and check them out. You can see their uh, their code is in the uh, description. So after the show's over, we'll go ahead and check that out. I think it's 20% off. And right now, they are pushing the uh, the Black, uh, Black, Black Cement, Cement 3. Uh, I got another one here, too. I got yeah, so there's, much there's stuff several already. pieces um, for the Black Cement 3 collection. If you are familiar with Thuggis, he actually had posted a pair of the, of the pants, the track pants, which are pretty dope. They had the Black Cement going down the side. Those are fire, but they got a lot of different things to go with your Black Cement 3. So, so yeah, sure go ahead it. and uh, yeah, make sure you go ahead and check that out. And... Uh, Man, what did I just do with this? Who's going first? Anybody Anybody want to go first? Um, well, first of all, let's introduce the Gap. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's it's the Gap. <laughs> 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 I was going to say it's my favorite part of the show because uh, it's part that I get to speak the most. But uh, um, shout out to my brother, Dan, a.k.a. One Legged Lister, who is not with us today. It is his favorite part of the show because typically it's when he rambles, talks, and curses the most. Yeah. Uh, so those who are uh, unfamiliar with the game, uh, it's Gap. Oh, you there? Uh oh. No, we're oh, good. Man. Keep going. He froze. Oh yeah. man. All right. Well, it's gas, yeah. ass, or pass. Gas will get you two <laughs> points. Ass will get you zero points, and pass will get you a, a cool one point. You froze, um, Molly. You back? He's back. I'm- yeah. Didn't know I left. Yeah, you, you froze. <laughs> yeah, you froze, yeah. Oh, man, okay. it wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> I think, I think it was you and all that typing you were doing over there. But, um, yeah, so you get the gist, right? Those are the points. Um, so we're going to show a shoe. We'll describe it as well for those who are listening on the podcast. And we'll go around the table and let you know what we think. So the theme this week was picked by none other than Hype Ogden. Woo-hoo. And uh, it was... First signature, no, not first signature shoe. It was just a signature shoe by a first round draft pick of the NBA. Minus LeBron and Kyrie. Minus LeBron and the, the GOAT Kyrie. The two, no. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Wrong, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep going. <laughs> Who, so who's going to start? I got it first. I, I, I'm already up. Um, Let's go. You know, and then uh, I can go ahead and, and react accordingly. Um, so uh, what I did was I got the David Robinson Air Unlimited. Um, this shoe was iconic, and not only did da- David Robinson wear it, and typically he wore the white with the green and the black, uh, but also, and I hate to say this, but I did I did like Michigan growing up as a kid with the Fab Five. You couldn't get past that because they were the ones who took us out of wearing them little young Do- John both. Stockton shorts. <laughs> you couldn't jump high enough because stuff would pop out the bottom. So – you know, I went ahead and I picked these. There, There's not a lot to choose from. Um, when you look at everybody who was a, a first mm-hmm. first rounder, you had Iverson, you had Chris Weber, um, you had Tim Duncan, which there was one that I saw him that I thought about going with too. But um, Don't pause it one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then um, that? you had uh, David Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait oh. to get to yours. <laughs> I, I practiced for yours. <laughs> I did. I, I'm mad you're the only one who knows what it is, but okay, go ahead. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so yeah, Air Unlimited, uh, they're like a gray color with the black overtone and the straps. Um, I like them. What y'all, what y'all got? Uh, that would get the ass. <laughs> I mean, this looks like some Robocop boot or some shit. It's, I don't even, I mean, there was so many other shoes for you to pick from. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on with this shoe. I'm so glad I've never seen this in person. It's like he just <laughs> gave up. He's like, you know what? I don't want to cap this. I mean, yeah, uh... I, I, I think he wanted ass on this. I, I, uh... <laughs> I mean, it's probably been a while since he had some ass. But you got some ass. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're gonna have to wait at least six more weeks. <laughs> hey, at least when I get some ass, I don't need a pill. Holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to you, milk bud. <laughs> no, uh, I mean I'm gonna say that video I made. No, nah, don't say that. Oh, what, oh is it on phonograph? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway, keep going, please. <laughs> See, you got his, his I'm, pornos I'm are comic books. And, I'm, and I know since you gave me the heads up that you already practiced on mine, I, no holds barred here. Hey, so, let it go. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Kev right here, he, he basically wanted to be the first one to take home a unanimous ass on the gap. <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, you know what? I ain't gonna win this week, so I'm, I'm gonna just take a big fat L. Give me all zeros, all ass. This shit should have been scrapped. Should have never made it down production. Oh man! They were like, oh, let's be futuristic with this. No, that's just I'm gonna get real. I'm gonna get real creative. That shit looks like that shit looks like you're about to hunt some aliens. Like you're playing like Halo in real life. <laughs> Kill shot. Like, that is crazy. Like, like, zombie you apocalypse. Got a gun holster on yeah. the side and shit. <laughs> Once again, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Who are, Let me get my listening. boots on. Oh god, exactly, bro. They look like a pair of lugs with with, some, with the air raid straps. They're terrible. Yeah, they look. They look. Scary. Shout out to Robinson, <laughs> the Admiral. You know, he wasn't amazing. Wow. Oh, what happened, Molly? What happens? So I know not to talk shit about your shoe. Karma came. Over there. He keeps freezing in the same damn pose. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Who's behind you, Ma? <laughs> Blink. <laughs> okay, he's back. He's back. Oh god! I right, think this is the last week you're hosting. Uh, <laughs> Cam is fucking shit up on purpose. I, hey, about I'm, I'm sitting over here preparing a a beautiful picture for y'all. Oh shit! You know what? So I'm gonna just be nice, <laughs> sir. I'm going to no. ask this shoe, and I'm <laughs> go. Don't freeze my ass, Brookie. It's on you. <laughs> she already asked it. Oh, I asked. I asked the shit out of that shit. Right. <laughs> booty, 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 rocking everywhere. I didn't. I, hey, hey, I, Bubba, I, yeah, those are some Bubba Sparks. I'm gonna take the unanimous ass. Hold up, the chat might have gave you some gas. No, they get uh, no gas. I didn't no, see that. Actually, 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 that's not saw pass. As I would have thought it was made. It was a pass out of respect, but from a few people. It's a lot of pass. I don't really see no ass. All right, so it's pass. Ladies right, and gentlemen, please give him that ass. Because, Ma, <laughs> Ma you're next. Uh-oh. Hold on That's a second. It. They don't even want to go on here. Man, I know what you're really doing. You got some shit running in the background we can't see. No, he's doing something. He's up to no good. He's cooking something bad. I'm about to say, yeah, he... He's showing he's showing yeah, everybody he, on he's 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 out. He's got some chitlins going on in the back. Like, he's cooking something... Yeah, shit. I ain't cooking I'm chitlins. Saying. You smell the shit, isn't it? This shoe. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you got it up yet? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't see I'm anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass that. That is awful. Wait, hold up. You're gonna say that this is better right, than cool. the last shoe? I'm gonna yeah, pass. Yeah. Oh my god. So here, here's here. I will premise with this. This was not the one that I would have picked We're if friends, if Mo would have been. Oh my god. If Mo would have been more specific on the damn gap, you had time. I, I would have hey, picked the grandma Ma. This is the one you pick. This was the one I said. It's the Aerojet LJ UNLV. You know, obviously he killed it while he was out there. Made a lot of money for Nike. Nike ain't throwing a shoe deal. He went with Converse and he did his thing. So hey, if you don't ask these, and you don't have, baby, nah, man, talk to me. If you if you if you are an '80s baby and a '90s kid, this is gas. No, these are nowhere near. No, gas. those these are horrible. Are, those are, look like you're about to play some Dance Dance Revolution. Like those look <laughs> awful. These are as hot as Antarctica <laughs> in the winter time. Let them retro. <laughs> I'm rocking them O's. Oh man, these who, are, who shoe is this? Larry Johnson. Molly. <laughs> and that's the homie. And I still got to get your ass on this. <laughs> I mean, oh man. The Larry it, it, John. It looks like a like customized it. snow boot or something. That's just Nike centric. This now. is Converse is Nike. And now. Are... Oh, <laughs> man, I don't care if you put a swoosh or jump, man. Oh, that's <laughs> a lie. That's gonna... a proven lie. Big so Daffle. I have a Nike. Be... <laughs> Mike, what, Nike you what you think? Fuck no, baby. I'm going to ask this as well. You know, hold up, though. I wish... Uh... <clears throat> I'm gonna have to ask that. Yeah, these are tr these are terrible. These look like uh, feeling run balls without the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he stopped him with his tips of his toes. 
<laughs> He's driving like Smokey on Friday. Yeah, as bad as they are, they're still better than what the hell you posted. Nah, so keep nah. it pushing. Nah. I'm a, I, I would. I, yeah, These I'm are a, shoes that, that the kids wear <laughs> Yo, like, that didn't like, change classes. Uh, like, like TV Fresh has said. <laughs> They're not that far off from a Jordan Five. Like it's got the same shape. Them shits look like the black grapes. So no, they don't. when you rock your no, when you rock your black no. grapes. That's something your grandma tells you to make you feel better. <laughs> right, the exactly. she bought you. These don't look nothing like the grapes. <laughs> these are uh, kicks the old two three set fake Ewings. Oh yeah, these is worse than Ewings. <laughs> these is these are. Yeah, I'll take Ewings over these. Yeah, for real. I would definitely. Hey, you could wear two me. left shoes of these. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, they ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Paul, did you did you give the color? Did you describe the color on that? Um, so I didn't. Oh, I just called them the black grapes. So yeah, they're all black upper, black outsole with a gradient purple and teal midsole. I wish I could see a better picture. Does it? It looks like it got a bumper on the front of the top. No, you, you know what? Was, it looks like it still has the price tag on the side. I just want to see what else. Is that some tape on the front or some shit that they didn't? It looks like we need to go to the next person. It looks like a rhinestone <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> so what? What? Are you, do y'all like these? Go ahead and vote for these. Yes or no? Because I see. I see. And Jenkins, don't disrespect Payless like that because they would never carry this shoe. <laughs> oh, oh, <my> <laughs> So Brooke gave you a pass. So you got you got one there, and you got one. I think I, I think that you probably got one uh, pass from the chat. So you got two. You got you you beat me. <laughs> Hope you're happy. These shoes suck. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Who Nick? Let's go here. This is Brookie Doo. With the uh, the red nosed Iverson. What? You can't duplicate. <laughs> That's duplication. And I mean, she and she went first. It's gonna like you bite it. Oh. Right. Swag jacking. Or... Brooke, so go ahead and uh, talk about your shoe. Oh, Brooke, the, that, the put, Iverson, sorry, my AirPod just fell out. I'm about to say, put that vape down. <laughs> no, no. What's in that vape? AirPod. Cannabis. <laughs> no, I wish. I wish. Hey, later, though. Oh, oh Lord. Hey, um, so I really like when Kev asked me to pick, like, a shoe when he, like, dropped all these. I really kind of was looking for probably either, like, LeBron or Kobe. But this kind of took me back, like, Kobe picking the Allen yeah. Iverson. Yeah, right? This kind of took me back picking the Allen Iversons because when I was younger, that is something that like really got me into sneakers. Um, my family at a time when my parents were together, I was really fortunate where I could go to a lot of 76ers games and always sit in like box seats like all the time. Like I've met like a lot of different players and stuff. And I was like obsessed with Allen Iverson. Like I even had like a gold chain with like fucking AI and like oh. number three. Like, yeah, it was, it was intense. <laughs> <laughs> but um i don't know i love these shoes and they're just something that like has like a warm a warm feeling with my childhood so yeah that's about them all right so uh marcus well of course i gotta gas him because i picked the same damn silhouette but <laughs> yeah gas yeah, de definitely a gas uh i'm gonna pass on him man what because i'm vindictive no, it don't matter because uh, everybody can beat you with all this. I'm about to say yeah, it don't matter. You, you're, you're already lost with the one gas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think these are all right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to pass on them. I would have taken the Tiana Taylors, though. <laughs> no, I'm well, then. I'm a gas. Um, I'm, I'm a gas. I'm I'm chosen, I've it's chosen like... these several times, so we'll keep this short and sweet. They're gas. All right, Same. so and then Mo, you got gas too. Yeah, I had to right. so gas. Yep. So there are four, and then the chat gassed it. So there's uh, she got ten. And never got the shoes based off colorway. <laughs> yep. Hold on. All right, Mo. Hold it's on. your ass shoe. So uh, based on, on some wait, things wait, that wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. My bad, my bad, my bad, ooh, sir. Ooh, 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 Let me know. Ooh, ooh. Let me know. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Where is yours? What did you ah, shit. Did you send sent it? the Weber? Yeah, I sent. No, no, no. I changed it. Oh no, you sent the Anthony Davis player exclusive, the Air Max. 
I changed that to the audacities. I gotta scrap that. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did I put it then? Oh shit. Uh, that's not it. You are a yeah, non-committal individual. You can't commit to keeping your shoes. You get rid of them as soon as they come in. Wait, let me see. I don't you know. I, I, I was going to keep the audacity, but then it. you said the, the PE thing. And I'm like, I was just, right, I just, just more the silhouette. You said the signature line. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to throw Marcus's up and then I'll find yours and I'll, I'll load it in. Okay. Marcus. All right. For, that's not it. You keep putting up these shoes. Look at that's yours. Why do you have the Atmos pack up? Okay, it's gone now. Man, calm down, man. Oh, Bro, people be getting mad at little stuff. So you Kev got all get, Kev got ass, so he's fucking everybody's stuff up. Wait, where yeah. you, where you got go? Where you at? Right, where you your hair on at? Here we go. The obviously yeah, selling the question the over there. The blue toes. You know, Iverson. Yeah, I know I love Michael Jordan, but Iverson was probably my second favorite player of all time. And I basically agree. because the dude changed not just the game, he changed the culture. I mean, he had hip hop dudes and everybody else rocking braids. People wouldn't wear no tats. People wouldn't doing none of that stuff until this dude right here came into the game. So all day, I mean, and in my opinion, this is the second best basketball player silhouette ever, hands down. So all day. Blue, you, gotta blue drop, you gotta drop that one in, in between everything you said, but it doesn't matter, man. It's gonna be you and Brooke. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna gas these. Um, they're dope. But. It's the same shoe, so there's not really much I can say. I can't ask them because I just gas the other pair, so you will get a complimentary gas. Complimentary? I picked mine first. Yeah, well, you guys <laughs> drop the damn first. gap when no one's paying attention. Stop sneak gapping. <laughs> I don't sneak anything, sir. That sound like a Mike Tyson at four in the morning type thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Brooke, what, what you got on these? Hold on. They're not loading for me. It's the same shoe that you picked, but with the blue top. Oh, oh, my bad. Yeah, I would I would gas them. <laughs> All right. So it's a 10 and 10. So now uh, let's get Mo up. I mean, I... It's hard for me because I really don't like blue shoes, but I just love this like style of shoes, so I would do it. Like those Jordan ones that are coming out, the blues ones, I won't buy them because I don't really like blue sneakers. I'm weird. Blue is <laughs> the okay. best color. Can't be mad at that. And then yeah. we got Moo. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had to switch it up. Because it had a little bit of controversy, and I decided to go with the Air Command Force for uh, David Robinson. The punk. What? Yes. The Billy Hoyle. Robinson. Oh, yeah, Billy Hoyle. Hoyle. Or Billy Hoyle. Hoyle, Hoyle, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I went with David Robinson, the pump. Uh, came out after, of course, the Reebok pump. Uh, all white upper with the Volt, black swoosh, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, had to go with uh, Command Force. Let's roll. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and gas these because uh, I th I think these look a lot like the was it the Force '90s, and I want those to come back so bad. They're a little high, and I didn't buy any, but I, I like these, so I'm gonna go ahead and gas these. Ma, Next. Ma, you frozen? No, I'm not frozen. Oh, okay, go ahead. Oh, you want me to go? Oh, you getting ass, straight ass for this. Forceful <laughs> ass, Air Force ass, like super duper ass, like both ass. the twins at the same time ass. Like <laughs> they were the, the pump, the pump, Nikes on the pump. Come on. Listen, man, it ain't happening, dog. Not today. <laughs> All good. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get his ass. Uh, for one, I hate David Robinson. He was the most boringest player in the game. Uh, Tim Duncan? Yeah. Yeah. You know, same thing, same thing, same thing. They both, they, they played for the most boringest team ever. But they but they were. one made him look like a chump after winning the MVP that he shouldn't have got. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't know <laughs> rock no Elijah one. Oh, I did have some Elijah ones. Thank oh, you. was it, was it Etonics or whatever? Etonics, or whatever? Yeah, he had Etonics and he had another brand he you was had with. It. You he had, had Spotted. Academy. He had Spalding. Yeah, Spalding, exactly. Oh, right, right, yeah. right, right. And I did wear them because I was a huge Elijah one fan. So right. you got you some go. Spaldings on? You had them just fresh out of prisons. 
That's okay. And, and, trip, and a troop suit. <laughs> and D back fuck the Spurs. That's why them Rockets whipping that ass right about now. Uh-oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these, this year anyway. these get man, don't don't hate because we better than your team and these yeah. get an ass. Bro, you guys are excited to play. How many times have we beat y'all already? The playoffs, homie. Let's let's pray. Let's just pray that you win the title this year because it will be the last year. Because the improvement that we're gonna make next year, y'all not gonna touch anything else after this yeah. year. Trust me, we this good now. We've y'all got y'all got all right. twelve all stars. We got one and a half, and we still better. Okay, now you're one and a half. <laughs> all right, Brooke, what you got on these? Um, I'm gonna say pass. Pass. Okay, so it doesn't matter what he got there. It's gonna be between Brooke. And Marcus, so um, I need y'all in the chat. Spam either red or blue. We'll just roll like oh. that, and then make the move to the uh, to the topics. I know Brooks got to go after this, so she's gonna play and leave. But definitely appreciate uh, you coming by. Um, I appreciate you guys having me on. No it was, you guys are wilding out tonight. It was great. <laughs> wild every night. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be more wild on the next show. <laughs> Later this week. <laughs> red, 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 blue, green. <laughs> green. Red, red, red. I see a lot of red. Blue gives the old man a dub. I mean, if it makes any difference, blue is the one that uh, he shook up Jordan in. I don't like that. Blue. That'd be my <laughs> choice. All right, so let's just vote here. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, Molly, blue. red or blue? Mo, red or blue? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Blue. All right. Oh. Blue wins. So, what? Sorry, bro. Sorry. <laughs> red, red one I'm in the weak. chat. I mean, I'm red one in the chat link. for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's because you're leaving early, early, so they don't. Oh. Know. I'm sorry, guys. No. So, and so, business. Mr. Marcus, you have to make sure that you have a gap ready for us. Yes. By you when? Win, you win, and then you like. By I don't win. Know you forget. I don't know what to get. You got, you got two days to pick something. <laughs> I can see the smoke coming from your head already. Wednesday, four thirty. Not a minute before, damn it. All right, there we go. Usual, <laughs> usual suspects. Hit me up with what y'all want to see on the gap. Let yeah. me know what what y'all want to see. Y'all can hit me up on Facebook, on Instagram, whatever. Let me know what y'all want to see. It is Motorola Pager. Yeah, y'all can hit me on the Pager. Motorola Two Way Page Me. I can tell you what they don't want to see you. All right, we're gonna get in the topics, Brooke. If you gotta go, appreciate you. Um, you Thank wanna, you guys you so much for having say? me on. Um, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys so much for having me on the show. It was truly great to be a part of your little, uh, your little Monday mid soul tonight, and I really enjoyed the time. And hopefully, we can all do it again. Oh, yeah, for plug, sure. plug, plug your show time, your show, and all that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, you guys can find me at uh, Brookie Do on Instagram. You can also find me at Brookie dot com, and that's pretty much. And on Twitter at Brookie Do. So my website though is B R O O K E Y D O O. For the Instagram and Twitter, you gotta add another O. So are you someone, want- someone, someone out there on Twitter like won't let me have my fucking domain name for my <laughs> website. So annoying. Okay. So <laughs> did, are you? Are you? Uh, you guys do sneaker files too, right? Or you guys, what's the deal? With yeah, that? so so um, there were a lot of things. So me and Eugene came out with our own like little thing, and our schedule is just like really because there's like a, a little bit of a time difference in Canada. Our schedules just really weren't working out on Thursdays, and Thursdays is like the one day of the week where me and my girlfriend both have off of work, so like we really can like spend like the day together and like get to see each other because like we both work retail and sometimes. Like, we'll work and we'll be like, oh, hey, who are you? Like, <laughs> we just live together and we don't really see each other that much. Uh, um, So that was just kind of, like, rough, like, kind of finding the time for all of that. But if we if uh, we're recording this week, I'm probably going to be on about, like, once a month with the boys. So we're just all going to do, like, our, like, just one show with Sneaker Files. So hopefully either this week if we record because there is talk that we may or may not be. It's either going to be this week or next week. I'm going to be back with them. All right, cool. Well, um, can't wait to catch that. Check y'all out on y'all little show. And uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so petty, <laughs> Oh my goodness you know gracious! Me, no, I'm just playing. But all right, we're gonna roll into the topics. And thanks, Brooke. 
thank you guys so much. You guys have a great night. All right. Take care. Hi, Kev. The uh, nines just restocked, but don't tell anybody else because you ain't going to be able to get them because they're on Jimmy Jazz and they are gone. Okay. Wow. Topics. <laughs> Come on, man. What, what, on Jimmy Jazz anyway. what we got? Hell well, no, you can't. Speaking of the restock, you know, I guess it was only fitting that we talk about the uh, quote unquote tax season nines that did sell out. Like, I don't know what the actual production numbers were, but if Pete knows in there, I'm pretty sure he can tell us. Or if someone else knows what, what the actual production numbers were, um, I did not see him selling out. I did okay. not. not. Not in the least bit. And I guess I'm still in the 2017 mentality, as we kind of talked about before, where I think I'm just going to be able to go into the store a couple of weeks later, and it's automatically going to be 20% less, or I'm going to see some 25%, 30% alert online, and I can just scoop up the shoe then. But um, I guess you know 2018 is definitely proving that it's a different environment. You know? You know, so 120K. I mean, listen, that's not a lot in the grand no. scheme of things. Not at all. Not at all. So well, does, does like anybody they... does anybody have a place where they're sitting? I think what Pino said that they're sitting up there, um, but he's up north. Um, is anybody is in the, the chat? Mines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there are a couple of places here, but yeah, right. Yeah. We, yeah. we 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 know. Yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> he, lives yeah, in, he lives in Willy yeah. Wonka land. He, they, got, <laughs> they still they still got Concord's there chilling, full size run. <laughs> The hate is so real. Hey, that's what you the said, though. So I didn't say that I had no damn concord. I mean, but when everything's sitting in Dallas, what what was that that set? I mean, what was that that came out? One of the Elevens came out. I think it was the red one they were trying to. And I sent picks day of. I mean, damn. What more do y'all want? What more do you want from me? The truth. <laughs> the truth, damn it. I ain't got to lie about no fucking shoes, man. There's too much other serious shit in the world to be lying about some damn shoes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I definitely didn't see this one coming. And I mean, I mean, like we heard before, they're going to start ch chopping numbers, you know? I mean, cool, in this. Bro. Save yeah. me for myself. Whatever. I'm over it. Yeah. yeah. When I saw it sold out, I was like, what? This is a joke, right? Well, let's kind of yeah. talk about like what, what they're doing there because you'll see the shoe and it's pretty much available. I, I went in, I got into Foot Locker early. I put them in my cart, um, but I had already one on the reserve app. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll just go pick those up. Um, you know, whatever. So I went and picked them up and then I checked what, Twitter and then I just started seeing them like, all right, sold out here, sold out there. I'm like, what? And I mean, it's the week before that with the was the hyper hyper royals. The hyper royals same, oh, yeah. the same thing happened, but also the same. I mean, you saw restocks. I didn't see too many restocks other than the one that just happened at Jimmy Jazz. I haven't seen many restocks. I saw, of, I saw finish line, extra butter, finish line, extra butter had a restock. You know, they they dropped them on there for the thirteens or the nines. The nines. The nines. Okay. You you will see several restocks, and I guarantee you're going to see one after the Air Max hit this weekend and the following weekend. I guarantee you because they know people are going to be salty about not getting any one of those Air Max, and they're going to say, okay, let me get this consolation prize. Mm -hmm. I am so happy that I That's am what's not. Gonna happen. Yes. Well, have, you guys, have you guys, do you guys ever look at like just like other shoes that were sitting maybe, you know, a couple months ago on, on StockX or whatever? And then now, like the price was for them, like after they went on sale, they were like a hundred bucks. Now they're like up to two hundred twenty. Oh yeah, blue uh, blue suede fives. Yeah, blue I suede just fives. I think red yep. suede fives. The red suede. Yep. I mean, it, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, because yeah. it dropped so low. I was. That's why you know I said, okay, well I can try and get them on StockX. The price I'm is going down. Double. Yeah, I need to do that because when I looked, I was I'm like two fifty. I'll go to Cool Kicks tomorrow. They got them for a buck fifty. Well, you're an icon, so yeah. That's what I kind of do. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, is it, is it? Are they doing this thing where they sell them to for a certain time and then they get to just yank them off? Yeah, and... I feel like you know they're they're fabricating the demand, in my opinion. Now, if if the production numbers are one hundred and twenty thousand, then they probably legitimately sold out for the most part, but they're definitely keeping stock. Oh, yeah. um, the retail stores, they do that because if they're going to open up in a new location, they need pairs to, to entice people. So 
I don't think all 120,000 pairs have been sold out, no. but you know, you, you got to start paying attention to the quantity that they're putting out. You got to start paying attention to, you know, whether or not you want them day one or early or whatever the case may be. Kind of what Mark was saying, if you want to shoot, get the shoe. Like for right. me, both of those releases, the Hyper Royal as well as the Bread Nines, more so the Bread Nines, like I, I do not need those. The Hyper Royals were a PE, so that would have been kind of nice to cop, but I'll be okay. Like for 2018, I'm totally changing my approach as far as how I'm copping. So, and look, even the resale on those shoes is still not going to get over 250 on either one, the Hyper Royals or, or the Nines. So, even if you missed it, you better get it for just a little bit over retail, you know? So, well, that's the thing. But you if can you cop the next long. quote unquote GR sell that and then and then you know circle back for the other joints right but i think that after a while though once you get past i mean it's just like if you if you go swimming in the, in the lake and you get too far away from the shore then the price just gets ridiculous i mean the, the, regardless of what shoe it is i don't think it ever sticks. right if it starts to run on you but yeah. if you're buying it within a relatively short period of time i.e if you miss the hyper royals but you doubled up on the bread nines you're gucci now because you get rid of your bread nine and you cut the half of Yeah, you could do that, definitely. Yeah. So if you're keeping it within arm's length, I think you'll be fine. But, oh, I mean, just you just got to cop what you want. Right. Just when you that. can. Yeah. yeah. Don't it, be cheap. Just get it. The, better have different. Different. the environment is different. And you just have to adjust. You have to acquiesce to uh, the current selling environment. Right. Get it for retail rather than resell. Indeed. So what's next? What's next? Um, well, I'm going to skip one of the topics, All considering right. we no longer have that point of view. <laughs> and <laughs> I want to jump into March Madness. Okay. So, you know, I talked about um, the Curry Fives coming out on Thursday. Thursday is the official beginning of the NCAA tournament. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to be spending a lot of time. I mean, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of time watching the games. Uh, it's something that over the past couple of years I've pretty much committed to Thursday and Friday. I'm in front of the TV. I'm watching every single game. Taking off work? Um, I can't disclose that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching the code. <laughs> my kids are sick. I got to stay home and watch. We got my flu games on. <laughs> you know, I, I used to be that way, man, but... I just really have no interest this year. I mean, of course, I want to see the Tar Heels take it, but in all honesty, they're probably not. They're too damn they're inconsistent. Not. They're too right. inconsistent, you know, but I just really have no interest. I mean, right but now, it's it, all about the NBA for me. Nah, but isn't it kind of like cool. a, like, isn't it kind of like, like the Super Bowl, right? You got your two teams, your team's not in the Super Bowl, but you just want to get together with people and just drink and chill out. And well, I, I mean, think for the NCAA, you know, you're thinking about the Super Bowl, you got to get, you know, to Final Four, the Elite Eight. That's when you bring the casual fan in. Yeah, that's true. And they can get excited about it. You know, I think a lot that. of people get excited because there's a lot of people that just go to be a beat A lot of pools, and, and a lot of brackets. I was going to say the brackets are what get right. Yep. Your it's, bracket it's, takes a dump on you. It's it hard happens. to get hyped up about college basketball now because every player who's worth watching plays one year and then they're gone. That's not true. And, and for the most part, Mar, yes, it is. For the most part, no. yes, it is. The great the players would be, you know, who's worth watching. So yeah, um, but I think if you look at the people who have stayed in in a lot of the elite programs, right? So you got Graham in Kansas, Joe Barry the third on UNC, um, Grayson Allen on Duke. Like these are four year players. Grayson Allen, know the oh, trash he's still here? I hate oh, I that dude, man. They're not. They're Listen, not going to be great. I don't, I don't like Grayson. Players, they're, They're not. not gonna... We're talking about college. You know what I mean? So, like, you're saying you're you're, you're kind of contradicting what you're. Well, not you're no, not contradicting not what you're saying. What I'm saying is, people contradict themselves as with college basketball and the NBA because they want. Most players see the see college as a stepping stone to the NBA, right? So that's why you get so much of the one and dones. But then you have these college basketball purists who say, "Well, you know, the game is being diminished because we have so many one and done." So, like. There has to be a happy medium. These kids have to have the autonomy to be able to do what they want, especially because they're going to be treated as amateurs and not going to get paid in college. If you start paying these kids in college, you, you may be able to retain them and they'll take advantage of the actual scholarship and the education that is afforded to them. I still don't think that they will stay if you pay them. I, yeah, because I'm about to say, for what they could make in the NBA versus I potentially could get if, hurt for if, peanuts, I'm not taking you that can still No, because if you have ownership of your likeness, 
you can get advertising dollars. You can sign a multi-million deal, multi-million and, dollar deal. And I, I still don't think, even if you go in there and you offer them even close to what they can make in the NBA, it's just the fact that it's the NBA. No, no kid's dream is to play college basketball for four years. Their dream is to play in the NBA. Their oh. dream is to play next. Kobe, LeBron, or Jordan. It's not to be the next Danny Manny. You know what I'm saying? Two years, though. It it, it could be, I want to win a national title. So you might get two years. That's an extra year to develop. That's an extra year of good college basketball. You know, I would like to see Trey Young another year. (laughs) But he's going to ride the wave. He's going to leave. Yeah, he's out. And that's the thing. So, like, when you think about that, I'm excited to see the NCAA play tournament because I want to see the run that Trey Young could have. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see, okay, is, is Virginia for real? They got they got a, a very tough region. Can they run the table? You know? who The upsets, when you see these, these mid-major schools, the Middle Tennessees, and they're out there beating the likes of Dukes or Kentucky or whatever the case may be, like, that's awesome. That's that's what the NCAA tournament's about. That's the madness, and that's what I like. It's all well, about how, the Buckeyes. How, how often do you see oh, the upsets? In you don't, you, uh, don't you see, see a lot of two fifteen. Oh yeah, you, you, I'm about what to talk about they're bracket, they're bracket busters every single year. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's it's not enough to to just pique my what interest. You might have two one team. Ago, Michigan State got upset. There was a two fifteen matchup. Middle Tennessee had their oh, yeah. run. I mean, you know, we don't see State the Shockers. What you don't see a two fifteen upset almost every year. I Duke mean, that's, Butler that's with the national title the one year. We have VCU when they had their run. I mean, there's a lot of like small time schools that got put on the map. They'll forget about my boy Wardell Steph Curry. You know, when he had his crazy run with, with Davidson. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you can brown all you want, but KD was there. LeBron was there. They were all going ape shit. So, nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see it. I mean, for me, because I don't have an actual team, I don't watch it. Plus, Saturdays are kind of rough anyway. But this, you know, with, with March Madness, I do pay attention to March Wait, Madness. Thursday, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be... uh sick those two days but i mean for me i do enjoy it you know i mean i can i can just focus on these 64 teams versus trying to keep up with all the madness and again i don't have a team you guys have the tar heels you have you know ohio I'm state all, i'm a realist i don't see the tar heels taking it this year i wanted them to pull up the upset against virginia to at least lock in that acc title and watching that game is like four minutes ago they're down six points and they're like okay is someone going to give us the game no you got to go and take it so for as experienced as they are they don't have the firepower that they had last year. They don't have the inside presence, the tenacity to, to repeat. It's just not happening. Who's so, looking like the favorite? I would say you have to go with one of the number ones. So it's going to be Kansas, Virginia, Villanova. I don't see Kansas. I think Kansas is, is, is pretty legit. Who, uh, Kansas, man, you got more than 100 stacks, man. Spend some money. <laughs> 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 I can't bet on that one. Uh, I I'm don't. Not betting. I, I ain't betting shit. I don't even <laughs> Jenkins knows. Steph did his thing at Davis. He put them on the map. They actually were able to recruit players, and and they just won the A10. And they got a pretty decent seed within the tournament. Man, fuck like that's this. awesome. You can you can hate all you want. Oh my. <laughs> is, yeah, Ohio State, is Ohio State going to win the NIT this year? <laughs> wow. We can't win the NIT. <laughs> You didn't even get the invite to the not in tournament. <laughs> we got the we made the cut. We made the the dance. <laughs> huh? Sucker ass nigga. <laughs> number five. We a five seed. Oh please, that's just really? based off the name. Well, <laughs> come on, man. That's basketball. We ain't right, talking so, about the. Man, we ain't talking about Rutgers now. Listen, if oh, you guys trash want to pick ass upset, team. <laughs> you want to pick your upset? There it is. Just bet against Ohio State. <laughs> hey, bet bet against Rutgers. What are they? What are they? What's their seat? That's I'll okay. Wait. Rutgers is up and coming. Yeah, they've been up and coming and getting their ass beat when they get bro, up they, there. Bro, they've been in the conference how many years? Doesn't matter. Y'all about to lose to San Diego State. Y'all about to lose to San Diego State. All right, we can we can talk about this later because I expect some facts, and y'all ain't winning no football <laughs> games neither. <laughs> What's the next topic? <laughs> Your recruiting budget is through the roof. Oh, man. man. Excuses. Excuses, bro. I, I live next to the campus. I see I see the type of talent that, that comes in. I ain't talking about the, the, the players. I'm talking about the female talent that you can that you can uh you can pay, all right? So you know that it's that Louisville <laughs> that, that he got game stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all got the real talent to be like, yo, we need that linebacker. 
We need Jenkins. that running back. Jenkins. So Ohio State. That. Ohio State has. Talent. It's one of the biggest schools in in the country. Exactly. So you're gonna keep talent flowing. All right. So what are you talking about then? <laughs> no, you, you're comparing arguably less than a mid major program that just so John, happens to be in the conference. But you in the Big Ten though. Well, it's not that's like y'all playing. East, that's because like the Big East broke up. But it's not like y'all playing like Mount Union and fucking. Bro, they should be playing Appalachian State. Like they should. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get there then. <laughs> you know You're talking about like decades, damn near centuries uh, of lineage with your program. This yeah. is still a, a relatively La- you know, last chance up you. and comer. <laughs> Man, what's the Listen, next topic? This is not good about them like that. God damn it! Um, <laughs> it's very prestigious. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> all right, real quick, real quick, before we go to the next topic, who do you have to win it, win it all? Ohio State. Okay, oh. that's dumb. Marcus. Man, I, I don't even know who's playing, Mo. That's how right. bad it is. He got, I don't know, Mo. I'm going to go Virginia. Virginia? I mean, yeah. that's where you should go, considering right. you live in the Commonwealth State. <laughs> um, I'll go with the Homer pick. Who, who the top four? Teams? Xavier, Villanova, Virginia, Kansas. I'm gonna go Xavier I'm, just because it's Ohio. I'm gonna go Xavier ain't happening. Uh, listen, Virginia looked tough, but I'm gonna go Jayhawks. I'm gonna go number one. I'm gonna go Jayhawks to make it to the, to the final four. Okay. Well, they're they're coach well. I don't think they make the final. I think four. Kentucky will make a deep run too. But. This would be nice. So one saying that can't Kansas will make it far and uh, won't make it far, and you say that's what you're picking. Yeah, well, I'm far. picking Kansas, and the guy who tells me he don't know, he don't know nothing about college basketball right now <laughs> is telling me that they ain't going far. But I was what? watching them. I was watching them play the other day, and I wasn't impressed. Who was that they played? Uh, was that Saturday they were playing? Was it the Big Twelve Championship? Yeah. Or was it the seven? Yeah, it was. It was the championship. I can't remember. West who they were Virginia. Okay, <laughs> they they didn't impress me in that game. Well, it's the same thing that they've done all the previous years. Every time they play West Virginia, West Virginia gets the lead on them, and they always come back and smack them. So, it just is what it is. I don't, I don't see them in the Final Four, so we'll 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 come to that uh, again in a few weeks. Yeah, sir. Uh, listen, I'll be very very happy if Carolina can uh, can make some noise in the tournament. Oh yeah, but yeah me too. Oh, we'll see about that. Um, next topic: Air Max Day. So oh, it's boy. coming up March 26th. We actually air on Air Max Day. Everyone knows that the Sean Weatherspoons are coming out. Um, a whole lot of L's, a whole mm-hmm. lot of L's. So mm-hmm. I guess, you know, we'll spend a little time talking about it. Marcus, we know what you're looking forward to as far as Air Max month and everything, but I just wanted to go around the horn and see if there are any other, you know, cops or, or shoes that we're looking to pick up. Flint, Michigan titties, what? I mean, I, I, you know, as I stated, I want all three. I mean, the 95s are the ones that I'm going the hardest for, but I want I want all three pair. I think the Sean Weatherspoons are going to probably be the easiest ones to get. I mean, Ooh, just nice. really. I, I, do, I I think there's going to be more pairs of those, and they're going to be the other two. I honestly feel that. Hmm. I honestly feel that. okay. That's the pair that I would want. I think, look, look at, I think it's really recent. Look at the early resale prices on them. Compare all three. The We're talking stock. Price. StockX? StockX, anywhere. Any any well, StockX or if you look at mind, any of the early sites. Animal Pack released early through the app. So then those people are going to be able to actually sell them right away because they have them in their possession. Keep in mind, Sean Witherspoons have released uh, last year and he's been giving out several pair. Right, but the pairs that you quote unquote give out versus the ones that are going to release, like, uh, let's see. There's two here. The spread is pretty it's pretty wide. So if I look at I see the wrong one. This is Pino just said that there's gonna be a decent number of pairs. Yeah, so they're about five hundred oh. if you want to pair it right now. Hmm. Which which fun? one of those mall? <laughs> the Sean Wetherspoons. I'm telling you, if you just oh, if wow. this that's how I always gauge what a shoe number is gonna look like. If you go in and you go on StockX, you go into all of the early release sites, and you just look at the prices. That will tell you how how it's gonna hit. That that uh, Air Max One is gonna be the toughest one to get. It's gonna be the toughest one to get because it's already going for the highest price. Wait, I didn't I didn't think it. Hmm. Okay, I didn't think it was going for the highest. And Meet the Press says he doesn't think Sean wants the shoe to be limited. Five. We talk Air Max the the Air Max One right now. 
I mean, we voted for the damn shoe. Why would you limit it? When, I mean, you, when I, I mean, we did that last year with the Atmos. Yeah, that yeah. was some BS. I mean, you you ask people to vote on it and then you shortchange it. Ninety five is. Well, I got my Atmos, so I'm not even worried about that. I want that shit to retail. That's how it should be. KB said that uh, early resale on the animal pack is less than the Sean's. Uh, uh, that it must have changed because when I was looking at StockX last night, that one was, I mean, it was up there. But now you're looking at you're KB. looking at the one. I mean, you know, both of them. You but know, even, even at the 2.0. No, I'm looking at the 2.0. Are you sure? In 2018, yes. Right now it's $600. For a size? For a size 11. 11, okay. Well, we're looking at different sizes. Oh, yeah, what's yeah that, but what's the, 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 what's highest, the highest bid, or rather the ask, is only at 351. It's so wide. Like That's what she said. <laughs> What's the Sean Weathers going on? Pino, give, give us, give us your, your knowledge on the Pino. Which, which one do you think is going to have the, yeah, the smallest recent, numbers? The size 11 recently sold for, for 400 So that's fine. I can ask a oh. million dollars for a GR, but it's what someone is actually going to pay for it. So when, they, when there's so much disparity between the bid and the ask, like you can't really use those numbers. When there's a, a, a slimmer margin, then you get a better – Better view, better aspect of what the actual sell price is. Animals are four fifty. Sean's are six. KB Fresh from from his plug. Right. Well, I mean, and you're right. The number the numbers have been fluctuating up and down. When I was checking those numbers from the two dot the other night, it I mean the the animal pack were going for more than the weather spoons. And even if you look at most of early release sites, you're going to find them between five and six hundred dollars for the weather spoons. Well, I've seen some uh, sites had the the uh, ones. At a, almost a thousand dollars. Yeah, they were just so happy they got them early. Jeez, thousand dollars is crazy. All right, it's not happening, bro. I'm looking at it. Four fifty. Yeah, I can't do that. Not for those. All right, you gotta look at the last sale. I'm gonna put it like this: at least one of us will have the weather spoons. Probably none of us will get the animal pack. Hmm. Challenge accepted. <laughs> well, we're gonna try. <laughs> yeah, you can learn today. Anybody out there with a nice bot who wants to assist, please hit us I already, up. I already hit got my boy up. on it. <laughs> I got my boy on it. He hit on them uh, them Yeezys this weekend. So, oh yeah, everybody would have bought him on them damn Yeezys. Yeah, I got a yeah. Don't be trying to steal my shine. We told him. <laughs> everybody, everybody hit on the bot. Did you get a bot? Did I get a bot? <laughs> I had a bottle with a one. Steal my shit. <laughs> <laughs> we had some joy. You like the Yeezys? The Wave Runners? Huh? You like them yes, Wave Runners? It's no, a, it's I didn't find one. Home he shoe. hit me up. He said he had them. He asked me that I wanted them. I said no. Nah. And then I thought about a few hours. I was like, damn, I could have used those for the fucking animals. But I let it go. I'll ask him again when I see him if he still got them, if he's moving. Yeah, it's a perfect nursing home shoe. You can walk all around with old Betty. And they're going for seven hundred dollars, man. I, shit, I wasn't gonna put them on my feet. Yeah, they're going like, straight out the door. Them like them Howie Mandel, uh, Bobby's World shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are out the door the minute they touch in hand. Lots be winning. All right, we got seven minutes, y'all. Oh damn. Hero. damn! Yeah, we, okay, yeah. We slacking. I'm over here putting shit away, y'all. All right. All right, hold on. Yo. Wildcat getting, uh, getting that ready. Be sure to check out Rejuvenator. Use product code Monday Midsole. Get 10% off your purchase. Check out rejuvenator.com for all of your sneaker cleaning needs. Oh, yeah. All right, let me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got way too much crap. I got to get rid of some of that stuff. What's there? Ma, you got. You're, you're set. With your hashtag All right, hero. bet. So my hashtag hero uh, was Forbidden Alliance, and he was rocking the the DB8s. And just to go back, last week's hashtag was Midsole Blue. So uh, that was the ode to George Kill and Kill Colon Cancer Foundation. Um, so I chose here the DB8s, probably one of my favorite DBs, one of my favorite eights of all time. I don't even know if it's possible to take a bad shot in these, but these are flames, as they say on the shoe. Oh, yeah, it's possible to take a bad shot. I'll name a few right now if you want. 
Can I just be nice to people? Damn. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, don't. I'm be, I'm be spreading the untruths because I can pull up some on IG right now. We ain't got enough time for that. Right. Two hours, two hours. Let's go. I got, I got Marcus. You got mine up? Yep. All right. What did I pick? Marcus. <laughs> See, that's messed up, Marcus. Marcus just done Jenkins. stole my hero and don't even want to remember. Well, yeah, I know I got Jenkins. Oh, yeah, the Barclays. The, uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Sheesh. Barclay yeah, Pos- blue Barkley posits. Yeah, the blue Barkley. <laughs> I got these shoes too, man. And uh, yeah, that's and of course, you know, that's that's uh that's HG. It ain't too yeah. often we get uh HG to participate in anything. How, so, he always participates. How I, I never see, see him participate on the hashtag hero. Never I think I see him. That's because you're not time we get to the end of the show, your red cup is empty. <laughs> it is empty. I should have went and filled up a little while ago. Nah, you're good. I can see that ginkgo biloba. I can't remember ish. Oh man, he, he kind of spit a ginkgo biloba, so be quiet. Oh, come on now. But yeah, we going we going with uh, Mr. HG himself, Mr. Jank. Yep. All right, next is me. I got uh, Arios Ben with this dope shot of the Blue Royal. Uh, whatever the hell what was that Blue Royal? Whatever. Uh, the fives, uh, suede, dope shot. In, in my opinion, he killed it. And I had somebody else picked, and I actually I actually switched once I saw this one. Who did so, you pick, and, and who did you who did you uh, get rid of? Kevin? <laughs> I'm saying. People want to know. I mean, don't, 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 don't give that know. much information if you're not gonna oh, get it. Oh. I, don't, I don't even remember, honestly. You gonna come up a follower shirt? I actually had somebody else, and I said, "This is whack." I'm on Ben. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't say it was whack. I just thought that this picture jumped out, so you know, I, I went with Ben. Uh, he killed it, so. That's what Marcus is trying to insinuate. He's trying to throw you under the bus. I'm just trying to see who shit he's he shitted on. Why oh, <laughs> well, I got to be, well, be shitted on? <laughs> Your shit is whack. I'm going to go ahead and take this pick. So, who, right. Somebody made a change for uh, Frankie last week, too, wasn't it? Who was it? Damn, you just rolling those clients. I, I, you know, I just I, throwing out names and shit. I took, I took Frankie. I had Frankie last week. Yeah, anyway, cut, that, cutting heads. Um, with, that, with that banana peel. <laughs> So my, this is my choice. I went with Luciano Collection with the uh, Nike LeBron 14 Agamat, I believe, Philippine drop. I had to give him some love. Uh, shout out so to, yeah. Shout out to uh, Luciano Collection. He's got uh, something going on with his yes. uh, his page where he's trying to have people help him with uh, the two pairs that he's going to wear uh, to SneakerCon Cleveland. He's got like a, it's like a bracket type. Yep thing and uh march so madness type sure, yep make sure y'all go check him out uh yeah. and it starts tomorrow tomorrow idea. morning yeah tomorrow morning and he's right there in the chat y'all can see his name that's just how it is on ig yep luciano collection bang so who the winner all right and let me let me preface everything for everybody right now <laughs> Why you got the hands going like you about to do some evil shit? No, right, right, right now we're in in between things and things are a little cloudy. So uh, for right now, it's going to be bragging rights. Maybe we can work something out in between all, all right. of us as far as like maybe like a group shout or something like that um, until we get things we got, ironed. We got t-shirts. We could do t-shirts. Yeah, we could do that, I guess. You ain't got nothing but mediums. We yeah. could figure it out, man. Damn. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll, we'll work something out. Um, but yeah. This is for the gratis. Not Ain't playing. nobody in our chat medium. It's a bunch of fat now. Go watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, some that's, inspiration. That's, 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 that's right. Kill the usual suspects, Market. That's that's the way to get them to follow us. All right, hang so it up. Got, hey, we got, hey, we're at fifty-seven. Oh, okay. Let's go. So, let's go. Uh, who we who we got? Who we got? I'm going to go with Jenkins. That's a dope pick. Yeah. Who who you got, uh, Mo? I'm gonna actually go with Jenk as well. It's something you don't see often. All right, well, he wins then because... All right, boom, there it is. So, Jank, we'll talk to you, bro. Send me your size. Maybe we can do something. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> Jank, is you owe me a pair for picking you, so... Uh, a t-shirt size. Man, leave the man alone. <laughs> figure out what holy grail I need. Yeah, leave I need that this DB6. Alone. Send me a DB6, Jank. <laughs> leave that man alone. <laughs> All right, so, Ma, let's go ahead and shut it down. Shut it down like we knew it would. Uh, so, once again, shout out to our sponsor, Rejuvenator. Uh, shout out to eight and nine. Definitely make sure you click on the link. Check out the clothing for the bread um, for the BC threes. Shit's a fire. Uh, shout out to the usual suspect. Shout out to Brookie Do. Uh, shout out to these fellas. We share the airtime, and uh, it's always a good time. So uh, we'll keep it moving. Oh, and uh, the hashtag. What y'all think about y'all? Oh. Y'all? Y'all? Y-O-W-L-I-L show. Y'all little show. 
Y'all little show. <laughs> Y'all little show. Hashtag your little show. Y'all little show. Y'all, Y'all little show. show. Y O W L I L S H O W. Is that what Just you said? Lord, y'all. I yeah, put it in there, y'all, because I couldn't okay, put yeah. y'all because too many damn L's in there. Uh, uh, so it, y'all, little show. Uh, shout out. Oh man, Marcus, you got you got most. You got my. Background. All right, I got Fresh Kicks three. Shout out New York State of Mind, Frankie Ben Eros as always. Mike is awesome. Thirty third. Uh, K Y Soul, the boy Mike. Okay. Half Cast can be Fresh Kicks. Funky Lace. Uh, uh, yeah. Funky Lace. Funky Lace. Yeah, I can't forget Funky Lace for show. Sure. Uh, 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 Heads clothing line, as always. Mazda. Brandon Rogers. Jake Soul. Sneakers are good for the soul. Wavy 80. Uh, and, and, and Holy Grail Jenkins again. Flashy Flash. Luciano. KB. I said KB. Yeah, we got KB. All right, we good then, I think. I, I, man, I messed up. This week, man, I had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but that's who we got. Uh, shout out to our sister shows, uh, Talking Kicks. Uh, you can catch them Wednesday at 8.30. Also, uh, Sneaker Files, I think, well, Brookie was on. She didn't give us a, quite a definitive answer um, as far as that. Uh, but then, <laughs> Saturday, uh, Saturday night with the fellas, you can catch uh, the fellas on there at 7 o'clock on uh, Pop Pop Lewis ch- channel. And then also uh, Sneaker Sneaker Bar Detroit or Sneaker Box Podcast on Sneaker Bar Detroit's uh, YouTube channel um, and iTunes and all that good stuff. Saturday mornings at eleven. Marcus. Mm. All right, y'all. That's all Good we Marcus. got. That's Marcus. it. That's it. That's all we got. So uh, thanks everybody for joining the show. Our little show we got. Come back next Monday for our little show and see if our little show will be a little bit bigger next week. With that, hopefully we see Dan back. If not, we'll be here. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.